Got the background music started up as well. I'm just putting the uh, notification out now as we uh, speak. Bye. too much about putting out the uh... oh there's a network error yeah. oh. please try again there are 2000 you might need to refresh on that yeah mine's working good I uh, refreshed it I refreshed it twice then the third time finally worked Say you were gonna do Ben, or I'm gonna bother with something. I'm not gonna bother putting in the the thing on this, most of the uh, Discord servers I'm in. I don't seem to be getting a lot of uh, people coming by anyway, even when I do. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So I'm probably just gonna stick to Twitter and the one Discord account I've got, or the one the primary server. Oh, you're, are you using the Benjamin still? I'm sorry. Using the Benjamin still? Yes. Yes. Okay. Because I don't see the announcement for yet. That's I haven't put it in yet. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know what's going on with Twitch for me for some reason. I think he's buffering every few seconds and then it plays. That's Twitter. That happen to you guys? Does it like buffer for every few seconds or not? Uh, sometimes it will for me, but I think it's because um, I think it's because of the extensions I've got. That's why I couldn't yeah. tell you one way or not. It's not buffering for me, but sometimes it doesn't uh, load. Sometimes depending on the person set up one of my data. I need mean, my like, cookies or something like that. Yeah, it is. Like, like, it doesn't, like, it just goes for, like, every three seconds for some reason, but it, I can still watch the stream, it's still fine. It's like, I can watch on Discord, at least, it doesn't, I don't have to worry about buffering on there. Make sure that that's not getting any double audio there. Thing is, I want to finish Xenoblade 3 before Splatoon 3 comes out. Oh, uh, yeah, I know how Well, that... don't rush. Yeah, don't right. rush. There's still a lot to experience. I'm still on Chapter 5. There's so many side quests. Yeah, yeah. Oh, in the club. <laughs> I wonder if any of you are Rain is having a certain no pod, but uh, I won't spoil it because. Yeah. It refrains from a certain uh, something. No, I, no, I don't want to accidentally spoil it. Continue. Ah, uh, we're just waiting right now. Yeah, I'm just letting the song uh, play out. I just got this new microphone. It's uh, called a Blue Yeti. Oh, nice. Cool. Oh, well, now there's it? a little miss insect trying to fly near it. No, get away from it. But say, I thought you sounded a little louder and clearer than before. Of course, I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, I'm uh, louder than usual, you say. Yeah. A little. I mean, not... There's a lot... It's... Oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, yeah, it sounded a lot clearer on Friday when, when we were playing. Yeah, I had to get it because uh, my headset was no longer... It does... Ear support things broke. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, also, another problem I won't get uh, into detail here. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I'm sure that my oh, what should we call it? Uh, sure that the stream. You've been is, busy. Yeah. yeah. So um, so I unlocked quite a lot more uh un shrines here that are just kind of here in the the orange. I've I actually completely lost count <laughs> how many I've unlocked. 
but uh, check, uh, check the thing to see how many there are and count on how many you have uh, unlocked so far. So, uh, well, let's see. In terms of the the ones that I haven't done, let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 15, 16, 17. Did I count this one already? No. I don't think so, though. <laughs> All right, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23 uh and if i didn't count this one 24 oh nice well the thing is uh i thought it ex finding the shrines was part of the fun of the let's of the let's play but you do you well the reason why i was doing this was because um save on time yeah, basically just for expediency's sake, because I know Breath of the Wild 2 is coming out next year, and I don't know what time next year we're supposed to be getting that. Um, it's it's usually, around, uh, usually around November or something like that, usually. I don't see Nintendo's changing that anytime soon. They said early of next year, that's all I heard. Oh, so, early, yeah. so... So yeah, if if it's early next year, we might be looking at maybe first or second quarter 2023, uh, so... Yeah. So, and not only that, like I said, I'm getting the shrines. I'm going for the memories. I'm also uh, at least going to be doing one of the DLCs. I might be finishing up. I don't think I'll be tackling the the final trials of the Master Sword tonight because I I off screened the intermediate trials, the the middle trials. So, <clears throat> yeah, um, I heard about that. Um, uh, let me just go ahead and show off. <laughs> yeah. Master Sword's running a little low on power, but base power is now 50 instead of 40 like it was. Um, nice. I did go ahead. I A uh, couple of things off screen. I went ahead and I got the Ancient Shield from the um, Akala Laboratory. I also went ahead. I uh, got the entire Ancient. Nice. Uh, oh, yeah, nice. The, the entire... Yeah. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Wow. So got that oh. taken care of. Cool. Um, I uh, there were a couple of areas that I also marked a couple of extra stone taluses I found. Uh, one of which was actually a rare one. Uh, this one's ah. also a rare one right here. This one that I thought was a rare one's actually a luminous stone town. This one's where you can kill them to get more like luminous stones and all that. And the rest are all just the regular ones. Nice. Um, Maybe you should do to tell the difference between the regular ones and the more porn ones, because if you stop playing this, you won't remember which ones uh, well, stamps to keep. Well, that that's the thing. That's the what the reason why I have the the stamps as they are, because the uh, the treasure chest ones here mark the locations of the great fairies. The I shield see. marks a location of where there was a shield shop on on uh, areas like that. I think this one was also a shield area as well. I'd have to double check that one. You're a bit smarter on this uh, branding because all I ever do is put stars or yeah. <laughs> enemy locations, uh, stars for important sh important items or quests yeah. or well, and I... just uh, any icons for the uh, boss enemy enemies. Uh, well, the the thing is, I did have the skull for this well, area. Well, that's what I did in the and, beginning, though. Yeah. Not, I eventually got more complicated, but I didn't plan this out beforehand yeah. when I started playing on the Wii U version. Sorry. But yeah, uh, so like I mentioned, I did have the skull for this shrine, the Tawajin shrine, and the one up here on the Jitan Sami here. Uh, so I did go ahead and I did mark those, but I did unlock those areas as well. So uh, I went ahead and I removed those stamps. Because I went ahead and I, I took out the uh, the one dragon. Or I didn't take it out, but I did free the one dragon from the Malice. Yeah. One. I probably should have had that one on stream. I do kind of regret not doing that one. but Yeah, I was uh, going to ask you why didn't you save that for stream. Because uh, I I know you didn't. You, it's a long fight, but it's an entertaining one. And it's a more, it's a 
more easily encounterable dragon fight than compared to the rest you could encounter during streams. Uh, that one was admittedly something I got a little carried away with. So, hey, AJ, <laughs> see him in the. I see oh, him yeah. in the. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Joy. Um, but the uh, skull area here that I put mark on this one was because there's a a pit like right here. And oh this, yeah, the base. The, yeah, that's uh, the uh, the Yiga Clan base. So I'm like. Oh right, uh, I in between unlocking this shrine and that shrine, I was like, oh hey, there's the Yiga clan all around this particular area. So I was like, hmm, okay. Yeah. So we've got shrines we could do. We could got we can actually uh, sequence break and go after the Yiga clan. Uh, these stars here that I have marked down, these are actually locations of the memories. Um, oh okay. So oh, that uh, would make a uh, shorten that top. So yeah, uh, there's also the Hylian shield we can go after. So uh, we can we can, and we said we were going to go after the Hylian shield at least at some point tonight. So we could go ahead and do that. Uh, get some of these memories taken care of. Get some of these shrines knocked out of the way. Um, basically, we have options. So um, basically, my question to you guys is, uh, what do we want to start with first? Question: uh, When are when are you going to be fighting the uh, sh the guardians? Uh, the, um, not the not the ordinary guardians. You know what you mean I mean. The divine beasts. Yes. Uh, I was thinking maybe at some point. Uh, I don't know if we might we might actually do one of those tonight. Probably. Um, I'd say maybe get the shield first. Maybe since you would have. I was going to suggest that my myself. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and we'll uh. Go. The shrine I was at is also incomplete, but that's okay because um, the shrines we could just take care of at our leisure. Yeah. Do you that... uh, can you bring up the map again after your teleport? I just yeah. want to see if you unlocked a certain shrine I noticed was missing from your map. Yeah. Uh, give me a second. Here. Right. Oh yeah. Did you do the Goron one where you had to like stand on fire or something for? Uh, not yet. I don't believe that one. Don't believe okay. I've done that one. I did get the Goron Flamebreaker armor, though, so that is something that I also took care of as well. Uh, okay, bring up your map again. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a shrine underneath the castle and a water duct behind the... Uh... Yeah, it's supposed to be, like, somewhere around in this general vicinity. Yeah, it's around that general area where you're at right now. But, uh... There's a path underneath, and there's a shrine there as well, so you could just use the... So you could just teleport yourself underneath the castle whenever you want. Got Joy also saying go for the shield. Go for the shield, all right. Well, we got. You might as well go and unlock that uh, shrine first before you go get the shield. All right, might as well go ahead and. So when you return to the castle, you have an easier time getting in. Now I did go ahead and uh, I mentioned this to Radio Dog off screen, but I did kind of. I didn't really actually go into the the castle proper but i you did... just scouted around the town yeah. or the outer wall yeah basically i went into like where the um uh... hang on i kind of went into like this area here the central square oh okay i thought and... you went a bit further no nah, i just i just kind of went in like the, the the castle town ruins i was basically just going around bullying the guardians and just getting their uh parts Yeah, Which is why shield. you have the guardian armor. Yeah, that, that's part of the reason why I went for the because I was just kind of tired of taking lasers to the face and just getting half my health depleted. So. Yeah, with the shield, at least it won't break easily. At least you have a nice shield. Oh, speaking of which. Hello, sir. <laughs> oh! This time, that one. But at least the shield didn't break. Ha ha! Oh, that time it did. Okay. You were saying? There we go. That's more like it. Nice. That was another reason why I was going after the Guardians, was just to make sure that I got my uh, deflection timing down. 
Oh, he dropped the core. Yeah. Saw that. Ooh. I definitely need to get some more of these ancient gears, if anything else. There is one of the... Uh, there was one of the ancient weapons I wanted to get from the... Ancient bow? Not just the ancient bow. I was thinking more of the ancient blade saw. Oh. Oh, it didn't oh there's it. a piece of meat over there. Oh, the, the fox? Oh, that's actually a fox. Yeah. That was a big leg for some reason. I thought, hey, the, the, the drop meat doesn't look like that. You know where exactly where the shield is, Ben? Uh, not exactly, no. If I remember mm. correctly, it's a, it's it's in a dungeon. It's in the dungeon area. Oh, that's yeah, it's under. Out. It's no, under no, the. No, it's no, under. No. It's like the basement level. Yeah, the basement level. Castle. I think it was somewhere from coming in from the water. Ugh. And sadly, the where the shrine is, it doesn't connect to the uh, dungeon area, unfortunately. I don't even know why I'm bothering to go out for this because it's freaking raining already. The one thing I didn't want it to happen. How much? Uh, oh, yeah, you didn't increase your stamina wheel yet, have you? Not yet, no. I am planning on increasing it at least once with some of the uh, spirit orbs. Do it twice, that way you'll have yeah. two full bars of stamina. Wheels. Oh, hello. I just saw the map just kind of change on me here. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. The first does this when you approach the castle, when you get too close to the castle. Uh, oh, yeah. You gotta give Ganon his intro. Do, 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 do. Zelda's like, well, what the fuck are you doing here? You haven't freed any divine beasts yet. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> Shut up and watch a master at play. Yeah. I, exactly I just need uh, my trusty master sword, my shield, and a uh, uh, and, uh, cuckolo to throw at him. Oh, Is that what they're called? I can't re quite remember uh, its name. Kukos, cool, yeah. Kukos, yeah. Yeah, there's. I just, I just remembered because uh, it was a funny video of someone using a cuckoo to defeat this boss sandworm. Okay, well we're now technically under the castle. Oh, I didn't think we could actually run on the rails. That's kind of kind of neat. Oof! Broke the sledgehammer, but at least I killed the bat. So, <laughs> uh, actually, let's go ahead and Master Sword's running low on energy, but we might as well just go ahead and deplete its power so it can start charging up automatically. The only thing I don't like about the Master Sword is that it has such a freaking long charge time—ten minutes. But, yeah. Well, 10 minutes can go by quickly uh, yeah. if you're doing enough shit. But then again, they wouldn't want you to spam using that sword. Yeah, that's true. It's like, hey, I get to use it. Uh, I'm OP as f hell now. Wait, I have to wait 10 minutes for it? Oh, <laughs> at least man. When you do the at least, at least the, when you do the last trial, the, the unit's powered up state permanently. I think it does. I thought it still had like a cooldown. It does, yeah, it does but the, it, um, it's it's not so much that it's permanently powered. I mean, it's it'll be at like practically permanent strength. That shield didn't break yet, and there it is. Yep, Calamar again. Um, it it doesn't have like a. It does have a cooldown still. It's it's more like the durability has been increased like five times its regular durability. Okay. So, like it's in the same. Pa well, glows like it's in the power up mode when you. When, when, when you're fighting guardians and whatever. Yeah. I don't know why. I really don't like the map on the whole Hyrule Castle. I know it's like... It's a 3D map, which can be hard to read sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah, that's where our position is right now. It's basically like when you go inside. Turn it a bit. Turn it to the left. No, keep going left. Like this reminds me of like Metroid and Dead Space. That Behind that castle, there you see that little, little stru- uh, nut structure. Yeah, yeah, back there at the castle somewhere is the entra- uh, water entrance to the uh, underground cavern with the with the shrine. Oh, so like right where that thing there is on the bottom. Yeah. Okay, so I have to like if the map is correct on that, if right, if it is so... correct on that, because I didn't use the map much. That means I have to go back and go the other way. But it's only for the shrine, not for the shield, though. Oh. Well, we might as well go ahead and take care of it. We might as well go ahead and try unlocking the uh, the shrine. Or easy, fast travel to the Actually, new castle again. We're right here with the... Uh, oh, I don't want to use this. Not... They got the stasis and hit. You got the stasis it. Yeah, oh. you got the stasis it. Alright. And then you gotta hit it. There you go. I was going to say, the map kind of reminds me of the Metroid games from the GameCube and Dead Space. Oh, you got some of the, uh, you got freeze rods. Yeah, a couple of them anyway. I think you're getting, if I remember correctly, I think you're getting close to the shrine. Wait, what did Joy say there? I can't see. Uh, he said, I see Calamari guys. <laughs> that was the last thing I see in the Twitch chat, anyway. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. I need barums. Also, that did not land where I wanted that to. But, but all that's okay, because I want to just see what was in those things, anyway. Apple and arrows. Yep, apple and a couple of arrows, huh? Alright, there we go. Now this is where we actually wanted to go. Oh, you're getting... Oh, I think you're on your way to the shield, if not, if not the shrine. Oh. Yeah, I'm looking at the video. Yeah, it looks like you're, you are heading to where the shield is. Oh, well, man, I had... The way I found the shrine was uh, I w- entered from the outside out of the back of the castle because I ventured a little around the castle to get my bearings. Uh, I want... Oh, wait. 20 hots. Or is that... Uh... How many is that? 22? Uh, 30. Ooh, Royal God Spear. Tag fire high, but critical design left it with poor... Du- critical design fall- flaw left it with poor durability. Uh, where is... Since you're closer to the shield, you might as well go for it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I found it more easier to get to the shrine from the outside by taking a long way around the castle. Uh, it's not exactly where we want to go. Let's go ahead and go up this way. Kind of wish you could like zoom the camera out a little bit more. Yeah, that's a little bit of a problem with uh, traversing the castle. Uh, 
Is there a Korok underneath there? Or... Oh, I don't know. I don't think. Oh! Yep. Huh. Huh. What do you know? Blink. <laughs> yeah, I remember finding the Koroks in Hyrule Castle could be a big pain. Especially because you don't have the map, like an overall map. You have to use like that 3D kind. Can't do anything with this, I don't think. Can we go any higher, I wonder? Um, looks like we can, I don't know, we can... I think that beam will stop us in our tracks here. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, no. Uh, Mr. Ben's full of shit, okay. Are there any floors we can climb to on this? <laughs> What's a Korok doing in the castle when Kalamar again is there? <laughs> Hell if I know. Maybe he's a masochist? <laughs> Entirely possible. Or a daredevil? Okay, for some reason I thought there was like a hole in the wall up there where that little light, that conspicuous little light patch is, but no, that's just a piece of the, uh... oh, hey, here we are. There is a landing up here where I can reach. Oh, and Mr. Ben burns his, burns his biscuits. And you reached it without going through the maze. <laughs> While you're outside. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Wait, where are you? Uh... Actually, if you, if you go uh, left from where you are, you might be able to get to the shrine. wonder where the shield is compared to where I'm at. Yeah, the video I'm using says that to start it off, you have to go by the entrance, and there's like a cave you have to go to the left. Well, you might as well go for the shrine if you're on the wrong uh, path towards the... Uh... Actually, there's also a me memory here around the castle as well. Yeah, yeah that's that was another reason why I was uh, thinking of coming and getting this... Uh getting the uh, the shield and everything. Because there is a memory over by where Princess Zelda's place is. Oh, and if, I if, was if, the fire if, arrow. But if, the, if somehow the shield becomes hard to find, do you want me to like send you a video or something? Because uh, go, go towards the map again. Give me a second. I'm going to take this guy out. Because I can link you a video that's eight minutes. Like, someone found the shield in eight minutes. Oh, shit. Didn't see this guy over there. Mm. Oh, he's... I'm loving this triumphant uh, thing of the the main theme. Yeah, I love that about the castle. It just wanted me to make it. Just made me explore it even more. Because I want to see that Princess Zelda's. Bring up your map again. It's it. You see the, those those. Uh... <sighs> Actually, it's a uh, yeah. It's on the if you if you're facing the cat if you're facing directly, move it to the where you're facing the castle directly. If you were entering ah, from the front, it's somewhere on the uh, uh -huh. yeah, don't the left know. side of the castle. You know yeah, that tower right yeah, there with yeah. the door up there. Yeah. Yeah, that's where the memory is located on that bridge yeah. there. 
Okay. Okay, I'm looking at my... And you're close by to it. What's going on, Jay? Uh, I got my big old guide out, out. You had to come in from the castle from the back to get to the, the shield. Okay. Oh, that's how... Uh, wait, that... I wonder... I can't, I can't recall correctly, but I think that's how I found the shrine and eventually the shield, maybe. Because I, I kept coming back from the... Sh yeah, that tower right there, I think. All right. Well, there we, the memory. There, there we go. I'm going to select my photos. Got to post all three at once so you can read the reactions, looks like. Because I uh, went... I went kind of kept on coming back to the castle through that uh, shrine teleport so many times. I might have accidentally... I. One uh, one of those trips, I accidentally might have uh, come across the shield. Oh, I just I'm can't recall up, how. Hey Ben, I'm looking at the. I'm, I just took three pictures from the physical guy. I'll show it. Oh, we're gonna go to get the shield. All right. Hope they in order. There we go. Oh, we can still read uh, the crease in the book. It made that second page a little bit harder to read. That second, the third image, a bit harder to read, but I'll show you what to do. All right. Yeah, more ancient gears. Your sword's power has come back. Yep. Uh, am I going to be able to... I don't... I think I'm gonna be able to. You might have to go. Oh, the Blood Moon. Oh, yeah, I was bit. wondering about that. Got... Uh, Man, yeah, I thought, what did I say? Oh. Yeah, Ben, if you look at the pictures I just po posted, the cat if you get the Highland Shield is in the, in the back of the cat is in the back of the castle. All right. Wait. You just go. Actually, right. did he drop his weapon? Uh, not yet. I'm gonna try and. There he did. He did. Edge duality, nice. And some more arrows. I'll take those. Yeah, maybe you should uh, go in. Uh, yeah, maybe you'll have an easier time going up. How am I going to be able to get No, go there? back outside. Go back outside. I think I might have a... Go turn to your right. All right. Go up that way. Oh, duh. Didn't you see that? Oh, you're going for the memory right now. Yeah. Yeah, you might as well. Oh, yeah, there's a me yeah, there's a memory right there. And I think you can also read Zelda's diary if you keep going ahead. And I think some... I don't know if that's Zelda. Zola's room is near Pine. You can read her diary. Yeah, I found that out myself when I played this. Fuck <laughs> it, it looks so, so weird on him. Yeah. That's why I kind of take the bucket off for the important things. Like I, I think I only put put the bucket on if the add on if I'm actually fine guarding. Is why I take it off for the cutscenes. The only thing is if you have a oh, white cutscene going. Yeah, about that. Thank you. 
Way to kill your child. Yeah. Camera was a bit of a jerk. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Zelda, this training is what all true warriors strive for. <laughs> Mother girl. All right, sorry, so you can also reread the King's Diary further in the castle. I found it myself. Yep, I was planning on seeing if I can find both of It's those. in a hard-to-reach room in the castle, so I oh. doubt you'll find it easy easily. Well, the King's Diary, that is. Yeah. I know the King's Diary says that he basically admits that he was a little too hard on Zelda. And, oh, did I? Did I just go back the way I came? Oh, it looks like I did. Hmm, okay. Right, right, right. Because this here is where... Yeah, Silent Princess. This is where... Zelda's research notes... Today I met with Impa of the Sheikah tribe and began my research into the ancient technology in earnest. Impa introduced me to Pura and Rabi, other respected members of her tribe. Tomorrow I embark on an excavation with them. We hope to find ancient tech with which to operate the Guidance Stones. Today we uncovered ancient tech that we believe may have the power to control the Guidance Stone. It's a rectangular object, small enough to be held in my own two hands. Sheikah text is featurely prom featured prominently on it. It's made of an unknown material, but we believe it's the same as the shrines scattered across the regions. Impa proposed I hold on to it for now, and I hope it leads to some new developments in our research. The stone relic we've discovered has been named. We are calling it the Sheikah Slate. We have not found any mention of a name for this object in the records we've unearthed thus far, but nevertheless, Pura insisted we call it the Sheikah Slate as, it's a relic, as the relic is a slate made by the Sheikah tribe. Feels a bit on the nose to me, but it's not a fight I thought I could win. We were finally able to restore some functionality to the Sheikah Slate. We have discovered that the Stone Slate is capable of producing images, perfect likenesses of the things you pointed at. Unlike normal pictures drawn by hand, this requires no artist to capture anything in perfect detail. I deeply admire the accomplishments of Sheikah Tech. Still, I, I know that there's more to learn. There must be. We believe the slate may have a function that will allow it to control the Guidance Stone. We must continue our research and quickly. We started training the champions who will pilot the Divine Beasts. It may sound rude that I found this unexpected, but Mifa mastered the controls with surprising ease. Daruk struggled at first, but eventually got the hang of it, and Urbosa and Rivali both managed just fine as well. I can finally see the light of hope in our fight against the Rising Calamity. Robbie restored mobility to many of the Guardians we've ex excavated, but we still have yet to find all of them. Records mention a greater number of them, and even other types. They are said to be stored in five giant columns that rest beneath Hyrule Castle. The thing is, no matter how I search beneath the castle, I can't seem to locate these columns. They must be buried deep. Or perhaps they designed to sense the appearance of the Calamity Ganon and only to activate upon his return? I say... <laughs> Impa! Don't worry, Zelda. The Triforce of Wisdom promises this stone is safe to handle. <laughs> <laughs> Countless ancient structures are being discovered across Hyrule, but all attempts to enter them have failed. Regions indicate that these are facilities designed to train the hero who's fainted to combat the Calamity. 
but crucial activation mechanism remains a mystery. Is the Sheikah Slate the key to activating them? Answer, yes. <laughs> this is Pura's theory, and I concur, and yet my experiments so far have been fruitless. Still, we must exhaustively investigate all means of opposing the calamity. We must not give up, no matter what. And I spoke with Pura about the Shrine of Resurrection we discovered earlier. As we speculated, this particular shrine is, in fact, a medical facility with the power to heal. It also has a long-term stasis function that can be activated and maintained until healing is complete. In the war against the Calamity 10,000 years ago, where the injury so great has to necessitate such a facility. If so, I will remain uneasy until we've made all adjustment necessary to restore it to full working order. I can only pray that if even if Calamity Ganon returns, our battle will not require the Shrine of Resurrection's power. Ah, about that. <laughs> <laughs> Also, right. it, it also in the warning, it, it didn't come with uh, memory loss. Yeah, yeah. So does not have to sleep in your underwear for it for a long period of time. Uh oh. What about when it's about the fire? Let go of the parachute. Yep. <laughs> One step out of yon that. Where are right? Oh, it's right down there. I actually. think he, you go yeah, the, the shrine. I was going to go for the shrine since I'm like, oh, right in the vicinity. Okay. Ben, did you, are you looking at the map and the in the? Uh, not yet. No. <laughs> okay. If, all right. He's going for the shrine first. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, a flame blade. <laughs> Bonk. Cool. I'll take that. Thank you. Ow. Ow. Get over here, bastard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was rope. Well, that's a Lizalfos, but. Oh. Uh, yeah, he. Ugh. Does right. he look like he's wearing a rope to you? I couldn't say it was blurry. I thought he was shooting lightning. Oh yeah, because of the this quality on the Discord Discord stream is not the greatest. Yeah. Headshot. Headshot fatality. Oh, we had some shock arrows. Nice. Those of course he did. He was firing them at you. I know the shrine is somewhere around here. It's just... Try looking to the right. You might be too far in. I didn't even see the uh, the shrine indicator light up yet. So. It's not. It's not. It's not up. It's not in the. It's not up the stairs. You have to look around the the cave. Oh, yeah, that's right. Ben, you have a flame weapon, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you're going to need to light a torch for the shrine to appear. Oh, okay. Well, thankfully, we just picked up that flame blade, so. But yeah, you'll see, like, a big, like, a big light source. Uh, something big you have to light up. I usually just light up anything I... I any uh, torch. So, so it is up the stairs. All right. Uh, yeah, huh. if you see something that's not lit, then you use your sword to light it. I just thought I did. Did I remember wrong, mm -hmm. or did I just take a different route to get to the shrine? Well, you might take a different there. route because <clears throat> uh, there's probably. Oh, so I'm the wrong Jake. No, nothing. Oh, okay. Just got a 
Just got release date confused. Oh, here uh, we are. Yep, like that up. Oh, yeah, that. Okay. There you yeah, go. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Yeah. I had to do that. That's why I remember. Uh, I, that's why I remember. No, it's not further into the castle, but he was still technically in the cave, so. There you go. I was going away the wrong way for a moment. All right, let's go ahead and unlock that shrine. Where? I think it's Is behind, it behind you. you? Ah! Yeah, I think it's like. Yeah, it was behind you. All right. <laughs> Are you going to do that shrine or just get the shield first? No, he's got to lock it as a fast pass. He's not going to yeah. get this stone right away. Okay. I say this is this a blessing shrine or is this just or is this a No, it's not a blessing shrine. Okay, then we're not going to worry about it right now. Actually, I'll take a look while you look for the shield. Yeah. yeah. Please do. Yeah, that shrine was very helpful for me to return to the castle are every you... time I wanted to explore it for a higher yeah, power where, weapons. Where, where, where are you? Is this a docks area? Uh, yeah. He's leaving the dock area after uh, well, finding need, the shrine. Uh, well, if this is the dock area, then I don't think you need my my map already. Because if you exit the dock, I think the, if you exit the dock, uh, I can go outside. I think the cave that leads to the leads to the shield is that is right outside. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, actually, yeah, Ben. Good thing you didn't go into the shrine because yeah, it's not a one of those you walk in there. You have to actually do something in the shrine. I remember that specifically because I, I said, "Oh, come on, uh, not yeah, a blessing shrine." Yeah, you'll see. You're in the you're in the freaking castle. All right. All right. I'll let Jay yeah, like, of... talk. But at the same time, I was thankful. Okay, it's not a major or minor or modest test of strength shrine. Okay, so it's not a combat shrine either. All right. No, it's a puzzle. All right, cool. No, actually, it is combat shrine. I have. The oh video damn! Oh uh, yeah, I just remembered. Okay. Because there's another. There should be another K. Now I remember why I lost so many weapons and it gets my first. Um, Modest or major? Was it major or modest uh, radio? Major. Yeah, um, yeah. Now I remember. Oh god, I wasted so much uh, inventory on that. Yeah, because that's it. So standing on a cliff, facing the back, back of the castle, Field. see two cave entrances. First, go through the one on the right, leading to the lockup. Then head through the one to the left, leading to the docks. All right. If it wasn't raining, he would be able to get up there. Yeah, you gotta love it when you need to climb. Maybe I... you could do the shrine in the meantime and until it I stops might raining. As... I might as well. Because I'm not going to be able to get up there in this fucking rain. Why did you see a cave entrance? Or... Well, no, I, I... I can't climb while it's raining. He can't make yeah. it up to where he needs to go. I don't think you need to climb, though. Well, it would be a yes, yeah, faster way, though, but it is like a maze, the whole castle, so I don't blame him. Boring's part of the adventure for me. That's why I the, didn't use the... any guides when I was playing this. Sorry, what are you going to say, G? I was saying it's a, the uh, the entrance should should have just but you said you should that the entrance to the to the to the log up should have been to the right. You might not want to use your flame blade for this. Uh, just save it for something else. Yeah, Maybe I already swapped the back over to the weapon. I already swapped back over to the Master Sword. Well, I was going to suggest using your Guardian weapon, so if that broke, you just replace it with the weapons he drops. Oh, yeah, good point. All right. Major test of strength. All right.
got the guardian armor, got the guardian weapon. And your guardian opponent. Oh yeah, that's right. You have no pillars this time. Yep, no the, pillars. I noticed that. Them. Yeah, I yeah, that's why this fight was a complete freaking pain compared to the modest and it, first modest one I went up against with the pillars. And uh, is that water there or is that just floor? That's I just floor. It's just floor. It's just floor. Uh, of course. Unless there is some water in there for shock arrows, because uh, actually, if he's uh, standing on top of that. Uh, sh metal container. You can use a shock arrow to shock him. Uh, actually, or your thunder blade. I don't know if that's metal or not. Yeah, uh... he was on top. Your thunder rod is for shooting lightning, yeah. not bashing him with it. I know. It's not even shooting lightning now. It has to recharge. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, he's doing this. Oh, yeah, he's in phase two now. Ow. <laughs> yeah, that worked out brilliantly. You always use shock arrows when he goes into that phase. Oh, right. oh, you stun him there for a bit. You have to wait for it to recharge in order to stun him. Actually. Oh yeah, those were metal because you had stasis. On yeah. Them. That's why I remembered. Oh, he's getting ready. I didn't. To... I didn't have any thunder weapons on me, so that was out of the question. I thought he was getting ready for his beam blast. I thought so too for a second. Now I think he. Yep, yeah, I think he's getting you... ready for it. Thunder arrows. Technically, you can put some arrows in him before he fires. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, that's right. They sometimes like to shoot twice in a row. Yeah, that's why I found it annoying. There you go. Nice. You got him. Do, 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 do. Oh, he's got some some weapons and take some that. gear. I'll take that too. And there's his uh, there's his axe. Oh yeah, axe. I thought that was Yeah, I'll take take his battle axe. And claim your treasure. <sighs> <sighs> And you got another flame, flame blade. blade. Oh, flame blade, which I can't use because the inventory is full. <laughs> which what? Which weapon is on its last leg? I might as well so... go ahead and drop the. Well, I was gonna say maybe you could get rid of that other flame blade that doesn't have the buff on it. Or maybe the thunder blade, since you used it so much, it might be close to breaking. That's also a possibility. Uh. Yeah, I've got. I could drop the the guardians, uh, the royal guard spirits. It's powerful, but it doesn't have very good durability. So I'll just go ahead and I'll get rid of that. 
Did you take a picture of it? Uh, no, but I will go ahead and do so now. Once it starts clattering down the floor. <laughs> Why do you expect leaving your junk on the stairs like that? Hey, it's, um, how's it been? Let's see, Drake Dragon in, it's Forest! I couldn't remember the name for a second. That's kind of embarrassing, actually. Yeah, it has been a bit. <laughs> All right, now you can focus on the shield. Yep. Alright, so let's just let so Jay, you know where you know where he would have to go, right? Yeah, I think the equipment that's been Lee goes outside. I think the it should be to the it should be the cave should be to the right. right. If you look at the if you look at the map, up in the instructions. Alright, well we're here in um, the uh the cave area, so let's go uh, ahead and I mean, Ben, if you check, if you go into the main chat, at, at a look at the pictures, I'll give you an yeah. idea where it's supposed. Let me just go ahead and. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's raining anymore, so that's good. Let's do a quick pause. Let's take. Okay, uh, Sasquatch Shrine. Okay. Oh, the guys are in, in, in light. I give you a comment. Coming into the cat castle from the back. Is it raining still or did it stop? No, it's it's not raining yet anyway. Oh, good. Uh-oh. Oh, missed time that. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put on another. Uh, get a defense up here. There we go. At least the stationary ones only need one hit. Yeah, yeah. thank goodness for that. I'm just gonna go over here just so I can gather the materials that I dropped. Oh, yeah, because you want the gear. <laughs> Say. So where do you have to go? Do you have to uh, climb up? Let me check this rock here to see if there's a Korok under it. Yep. Hey, nice good call on that one. I found. <laughs> That's one of the only other ones I found in the castle. The castle's ones can be really hard to find. Oh, well, it's not like I go on my way looking for them after I upgraded it, upgraded everything I was able to upgrade. It says, we suggest yeah. you go on a grand tour of Hyrule Castle as it features many secrets and optional collectibles that are well worth the effort. Powerful weapons, shields, and bows that can prove immensely useful during the battle against Ganon. If you are already suitably equipped and do not wish to explore, feel free to take the straight path via waterfalls, as described on previous Double Parade spread. Otherwise, approach the castle from the north. Standing on the cliff facing the back of the castle, you will see two aid cave entrances. Go through the one on the right, leading to the lockup, then heading through the one on the then head left to the one on the left, heading to the docks. So that is now the lockup, which you can use by lifting the entrance gate with Magnesis, features multiple cells behind which enemies are trapped. You can access them by opening the doors via levers or blowing up destructible walls. They lead to minor treasures. The grand prize is found on the final area to the right. After eliminating a Stalnox, you can earn the right to collect the best shield in the entire game. So, 
Okay, uh, so we're probably going to have to go double back around this way, it looks like. Because that there looks, I think, well, we can't actually pull anything up because we're too close. To, uh, we're actually in the castle, so we're. Uh, well, this looks like the lock up to me, so. Oh, yeah. Huh. Oh, we have to keep Magnesis active. All right. Uh, here we are. Is this the right lock up? Because I thought there was multiple rooms of these. Oh, wait, is there I think? I think you have to shoot. Oh, darn it. Wrong button. I just see this is wood, so I wonder if we might be able to... No. Oh, okay. oh That's hey. some sturdy there, wood. There is a there is a I there. I don't want to waste my shock arrow, so... Royal Guards Claymore, which we can't pick up because it's a melee weapon. <laughs> yeah, is this the is this the right way, Jay? Yeah, uh, yeah. Ow! Oh, it's on fire. Yeah, I got it. Because the Highland Shield, I think, is at the, at the lat. What is it? Let's see. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the shield's in the last room. Room on the right. Pick up his club before he picks it up again. I did now. Well, oh, that's right. Your inventory sog. Inventory's a little full. Royal ball. You might want to take a picture of that. Oh yeah, good point. Oh, I already have it. All right. Huh. All right. So at the end of the room, that's where. Oh yeah, I think yeah, I think you're heading the right way because yeah, that was another way you could get in here was the gate opens up if you shot the. Oh, that's it. I'll take that shield though. It's a rusty shield, but you know. No, that takes you. Yeah, don't go down it. That would take you in a different direction. Do, 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 do. Can you lift that gate with Stace? Or oh, wait. Magnesis? Magnesis, yeah, sorry. Oh, no, oh, okay. I guess not. Doesn't look like I can. Yeah, I think I'm. There he is! Yep. There's the yep, big boy. Now yeah, you just gotta beat him and then you get your prize. I can't help but notice that thing. Well, I missed. I missed again! <laughs> Just grab some of his bones. I got a bone to pick with you. At least the eyeball, the eyeball can fall out and then you can smack it. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, you know, I might as well go ahead and make use of this Savage Lionel bow. Does a lot more damage. Yeah. It also helps that it fires three arrows at once. Oh, there his eyes fell out. His eyes fell out. His eyes out.
There you go. Down he goes. That wasn't nearly as th- <laughs> that wasn't nearly as uh, challenging as I thought, thought that was gonna be. That's because you had the three the three arrow yeah. flyer on you. I had right. nothing as LP as that on me when I uh, faced with and this here guy. It is. You've, got the, you've got the highly do, 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 do. A shield passed down through the Hyrulean royal family, along with the legend of the hero who wielded it. <laughs> Its defensive capabilities and durability outshine all other shields. Hell nice. to the fuck yes. Now it can still break, right? I forgot. Like, I but it's like very highly. Like it, it's like it won't break that easily. I believe broadsword is a good one-handed weapon. Where's my rusty horse? I mean, a shield, Eddie. All right, take care, Forrest. Thanks for coming on by. Oh yeah, that's right. If it, I think it breaks if you try to like slide on it, wasn't it? That what happens? Yeah. Yeah, so you don't want to like slide on it. But anyway, <laughs> you have you have claimed your prize. Got the best sword and best shield in the game now. Huh. I think you have to like like actually ride it, you know, like slide down it. Okay, yeah. Well Yeah, 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 I wouldn't uh use it for sliding. Actually I could I'll look at it. I'll look it up actually. Do you have enough money for oh yeah, you already unlocked those great uh, fairies fully then. Well, I've unlocked three of them. I still have the unlock the fourth. Well, which one have you on haven't unlocked? Did you find the one in the desert? Uh, not yet. I mean, I, I know where okay, I know where that uh, one is. Okay, that okay. Then I I I was gonna say yeah, I know where that one is. You could actually just teleport to our shrine, Ben, since you're pretty much done here, aren't you? Well, that's the thing. If I've tried to. To teleport, I'm. I'm oh still... yeah, you have to venture further from the castle. That's yeah. the only downside to it. That's oh, kind there... of the problem. Yeah, you had a leave area option on your map. Then. I did. Oh, you're right. Well, where's it gonna put right. me at, though? So yeah, it says while the Hylian shield is has a vast amount of durability, unlike the mass sword, it's not invincible and can't break if that. If that happens, it won't no longer appear inside the Hillian Castle lockup. Instead, it must be purchased from a special vendor after the end of a long quest. Yep, the Tarrytown one, yep. Hey. Oh, it puts us right back here in the ruins. Okay, cool. Well, I guess we can go ahead and get rid of that stamp, because... Uh... In fact... Let's go ahead and go to this shrine, take care of that one, and then we can go ahead and get another memory that's just around the corner. All right. Because I'm, I'm, I went ahead and I took part of the Tari Town quest. I got the Gor, the last where I picked up was like I got the Goron to get over there. I gave uh, Henson or whatever his name was. I gave him the twenty bundles of wood. So the next leg of that shrine is I have to get a seamstress from Gerudo Town over there. So I don't think I unlocked that quest. Uh, but it's not like I used the Hylian shield much because I discovered it pretty late on after defeating the uh, Divine Beasts. Oh, hey, look, another combat shrine. Oh, uh, <laughs> No, yeah, no, Me no. think it's modest. It should be minor, I think. Minor, yep. Okay. All right, so that'll be easy. May I ask you a question? Yeah, thankfully, there's just one chest. It's after you beat this.
<laughs> that huge difference to the one you yeah. fought earlier. Yeah. And the one I even fought the last time really wasn't that much wasn't that particularly difficult either. That's because you were overpowered as fuck. I was under I wasn't ready for that. Oh uh, yeah, you're you're you know, you're not wrong on that. <laughs> Oh, what did Joey say here? Huh, that'll be easy, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> and another shield, so that's not bad. Yeah. You pick up another one, you just always ditch the rusty one. That is true. <laughs> do, 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 do. And a full heal off of that. Thank goodness they give you like full heals. All right, and I'm just going to go ahead and all right. Still raining. Bloody hell. Where are we trying to go to, Ben? Uh, so... The next memory that I wanted to get on it is right up here, actually. Yeah, yeah you can just go over there. Yeah, there's a shrine here, so that I works. Like, oh, like, oh, right. You gotta do the shrine first, then get the memory? Uh, that was the shrine I already completed, so... Oh, okay, so that works. Like, oh, I, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Oops! Oh, well. How far along of the town uh, you're building out? Oh, uh, I don't know how far the, the quest line goes. Because, um... Because to start off, you need to purchase the house in Kakariko, which I did. Then, yeah, I did. I'm just asking how far along, because I did all that shit in the Wii U. I don't know the full sequence of events, so I couldn't tell you. Yeah, besides, uh, you're not doing 100% anyway on no. this. No, he's not. Well, no, uh, that's that's unrealistic, considering the Korok seed <laughs> fiasco. Gerard felt like uh, so ripped off. He was so angry. He I cursed. do not blame him. I mean, I'd have been the same fucking way. <laughs> uh, who, like, who got and all you get is a pile of beep. <laughs> a literal pile of shit. Yep. Gold plated. It's a slap in the face to completionists. Like, <laughs> come on. You want us to play and enjoy your game and you present us with something like that? I will kind of laugh if they, like, mention the gold poop in the next game. That better not be a thing in the next game, uh, to, considering how much, watch, much it pissed people off. Watch them, like, say, like, did you collect all the Korok seeds? Congratulations, you get an actually very cool weapon. For the second game. That would be funny. And the weapon reeks of shit and it <laughs> melts in the heat. Uh, I don't know why. Oh, <laughs> why did they thought that was a good idea? I mean, like, you have other games that don't do that. Like, other Nintendo games that... Imagine yeah. if a Xenoblade Chronicles did that. Like, it, <laughs> that would give a lot of people incentive to play your game to completion. <laughs> Must be another one nearby. Oh, there he is. Yeah. I keep forgetting that, yeah, they come out at night. Which is interesting, because Orgarina Time did that as well with... When the night time came, there would be skeletons out. Yep. Spooky, scary skeletons be shivers down your spine. supposed to be oh there it is I 
I forgot to take his helmet off again. Oops. Yeah, I was going to mention that, but when you approached it, I thought, oh, too late. That really cool weapon really smells. Inside! Hundreds of fecal batter! <laughs> Joy. <laughs> I just read his text. Yeah. Benny Mays here! But wait, there's more! But wait, there's more a memory. Is there a flower called a silent hero named after Link? Let's get high together. I just actually remember that one episode from Avatar The Last Airbender where they had to suck on the frogs because they had a fever yeah. or something. They were yep. some sort of sick. Pick. There's Andy. Uh... You might want to change your bow. All uh, right. Give me a second here. Let me. It's very powerful, but you want to save that for when you really need it. I want to delete the stamp there so that way we don't have to worry about that again. Uh, actually, well. go ahead. No, I was just going to say, if you had a plan, go ahead. Um, I do have another thing where we can go ahead and just take care of. Yeah, it's just a blessing shrine after what you went through. Oh, that's a blessing shrine. Okay, if I... I know this was a blushing shrine. I would have taken this off screen. I'm, well, I, half the reason I went over here is because this is an, another memory. So, you can get the shrine and... The reason it's a blessing shrine is because you went through a lot already with the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Suck on the frog. You know, for kids! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's not the it's not the mountain dragon one. This is one of the dragon ones. I believe this is um the red one. Oh, the you Lauren. did the scale bit. Okay. Yeah. I thought you meant the blue. I thought you were going to one where the blue one was. This is yeah. still looks like. But uh, it's still a yeah. Oh, oh, no, minor or major test of strength. A yep, major. major test of strength. And this one actually has water, so you can use your ice to block. Oh, nice. Yeah, you use cry, cry gnosis or use the crash the way of the crash into it. Yep. Or to uh, to use as a shield from the beams. I already have Kronos selected, so. Oh, darn. That oh, weapon's wow. gone. Ow. If you get slow, well, that would be that would help. Oh, Dude, that's a cool mechanic here. Like they try to make you use that to block them. Taking what you learned from the other tests of strength, if if you hadn't already encountered them. Yeah. Get up, get up, get up. A lot of hearty meals, eh? Yeah. One of the things I was I was doing was I wanted to make sure...
that when I made the meals, I wanted to get as many of the, uh, like, the ones that, that give you the bonus hearts. Because all those, did, all those are full heal, and then they give you the bonus health as well. Did you make any of them during the Blood Moon? Yes. Because when I was playing that game, I didn't know that either until when I looked at some things up before your stream started on this. Yeah, if you if you uh, do dishes during the Blood Moon, especially like just before it it watch my caught. Darn. I was hoping to see if I can get that underneath him and flip him over. Oh. That is not exactly what I meant to do, but... <laughs> he just oh, like... smashed it underneath his weight. Yeah, I like that. He actually just jumped on it and destroyed it. And he just moved off the side. He knew what you were doing. Actually, you could get him before. Oh, uh, no, nah, he's not Actually. charging up that yet. No, but he is in the water. Shock the water, not him. Not in the water anymore. Uh oh. Uh, now he's charging up. Wait, Let's one. see. Save me. Oh, wait, no, that, that's a. Rusty, you betrayed me. <laughs> oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Yeah, I think it's just twice. I could do this all day, son. There you go. I grabbed the shield and everything it dropped. Yep. We definitely could use that guardian shield. Question. What you could always drop your weakened guardian weapon. Yeah. There we got here. Flame spear. And inventory is full. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might as well go ahead and drop the ancient battle axe. Test your triumph over the test the strengths of Vert's prophecy do, of Rowan. Do, 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 do. May the goddess smile upon you. Up get out. I don't know whether if I should uh, play the game myself when it comes out or watch your stream, Mister Ben. Uh, well, it might be better just to go ahead and play because I don't know how often I'm going to be able to get to stream it myself, especially if I'm doing it on. A, once per week kind of thing. Uh, so that's... You know, I'm definitely getting this because I am kind of have all, almost all the Zelda games anyway. <laughs> Add it to my collection. This will make a fine addition to my collection. Oh yeah. And once again, Mr. Ben forgets to take the bucket hat off. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't last long anyway. On the yeah. 
after I saw this like uh, memory, I thought, okay, this is the memory that comes before that might come might have come before the memory on the tower. Or it could be the memory before the calamity started with them. Uh, joy. And there's a dress, huh? And do you consider the unholy Triforce part of this collection? <laughs> that depends on who you ask. Alrighty. So we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six memories still to unlock. We'll go ahead. Get. Okay, I didn't see that uh, one in chat at the time. J, I'm throwing EJ. I'm throwing you out the window. <laughs> so, yeah, that's one, two, three, four. Wait. Uh, so yeah, one. Two, three, four, five. All right, we go and six. Okay, yeah, we're good. Where is there's another couple other shrines right around this area? Let's well go ahead and get this one too while we're in this area. Is this one? Okay, yeah, that was a. Uh, I want. <laughs> At least get some climbing benefit. Also, that way we don't have to worry about staring at his bucket head every time we uh, go into another memory. I was going to suggest uh, taking it off, but I wanted to see if you remembered. I would have remembered eventually. Oh, no. I ah, might. For a second, I actually thought I ran out of stamina. <laughs> Haste makes waste. And haste leads to your death. Oh. You can always get rid of those easily with the ice arrows. Yeah, these guys are easy to kill. I do love that uh, trying to throw the Master Sword away just gives it the, the energy blade. I never tried that. Wow. So I, just, I was like, no. Actually, did pick up that rock. 
this one here? Because because uh, I assume always assumed. Oh, oh they it. hit they there's an, an amber, amber on the there. Yeah. <laughs> Something we can I always sell. assumed. Don't throw your damn master sword away. Damn it! Put it back. Oh, <laughs> you see what Joy posted in Discord? Oh no, not yet. Oh, I'm pleased I'm not the only one who remembers this. <laughs> Where is that from? I, I think that in like the first time. As they all beat. Oh. As they all beat. He's from Kablam. Oh. Oh, man, Kablam. I remember that. Never saw Never. this show. Yeah, it had, it had like a bunch of weird shows on that. <laughs> So remember the melt man, the power to, power to melt. melt. Yeah, yeah. Starring, starring the flesh, he's super he's strong, strong and, and super, super naked. naked. <laughs> uh, that was such a good show. Yeah. Also, the caveman and the alien. Oh, as well. yeah. Prometheus and Bob. Yes. Oh, yeah, that was so good. I always, I always like those segments and seeing the camera get wrecked all the time. Yeah. Yeah, those were funny. That McCoblin weapon is uh, extra durable. But I doubt it'll be useful in the volcano area. Yeah, a wooden weapon... Well, wooden anything is uh, not that great in the volcanic area. Yeah, another aerodactyl. Yeah, I love that show. <laughs> Actually, Jay, maybe if, if you have nothing to show for, like, for Nick, why don't you put that on? I was thinking. I was thinking later on, oh, and after <laughs> after we went through the main Nicktoons. There it is. Especially after Ren and Stippy, because uh, didn't you say that, uh, season two or season three went downhill, or was it the reboot? Yeah, the reboot. I know yeah, the reboot. Okay. Yeah, reboot's just... Uh, I've never I... seen it, but I have heard things about it and none of them positive. I saw an episode of uh, Doug uh, going after, going over uh, Doug from the Nostrogen Critic going over uh, one of the rebooted episodes. Yeah, that well, was yeah. weird as fuck. That wasn't really a re- reboot. That wasn't really a reboot. That was just a channel hop when Disney he bought the yeah. studio. Yeah. Oh, because they edited it because they didn't want any of that content in the, to be shown to kids. See, yeah, the Nick version wasn't bad, but the the Disney one kind of was bleh. Yeah, I yeah, really they censored a lot, which is a common trend among Disney's these days, even more so. But yeah, going back to the Rens to be adult, you be glad you never saw it. I saw one episode of it. Oh my god, I wish I. I wish I had never seen it. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't the uh, the the current Nick Smash uh, spin or not spin off, but the uh, multiverses? The, well, not no, multiverse. No. This is the the Nickelodeon. Oh, the Nickelodeon brawl. Okay. Yeah, the Nick brawl. Uh, doesn't Ren and Stimpy in that game have a taunt or a move that's based off? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Is that it? One of Ren's, I think it's, I can't, I think they're Tom's actually. He's the one thing from adult, yeah, it's the, the only thing from adult part, the Ren Stimpy groove boot they took, like was Ren Stimpy's uh, pan flute dance, and this is one of their taunts. I was surprised they got the rights to that. Too bad they didn't get the right to the voices. Mm. Well, Billy, what Billy West came back for instant Stampy and Nick Brawl. Oh, did he? Okay. Yeah. Well, but not all of them because of licensing yeah. issues. It's too bad James Avery's not around. It would have been nice to hear him reprise his role as Shrek if he were still alive. Shrek. I mean, Shredder. God damn it. Shredder. 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 <laughs> God damn it. I'm did, thinking of something else. <laughs> did you see that stray video in the off topic or meme string then, I assume? Oh, boy. Well, uh, and that, and that, and the, oh, Hugh Neutron, they just put him in. God damn it. Now I just want to see some fan out of Shrek and Shredder now. 
<laughs> yeah, I would love to see that. Brain blast. We build, a, we build a machine to raise the dead, and we get the original voice actor for Shredder back in voicing his roles. Shredder, why do you look green? They made me a turtle. <laughs> Kind of funny you mentioned Shredder being green because I I remember in the look like when they did the power the recent a couple of years ago when they did Power Ver, Power Rangers versus yeah TNT. yeah Tommy's a power oh, yeah. Tommy Tommy defected the book land and he became Shredder yeah. that was good no he didn't become Shredder but uh, I thought he did was, uh, uh, I didn't actually. Read it. I I did actually. Also picked up the last Ronin. I enjoyed that crossover so much. What a view! Not the not the main yeah. uh, not any of the main series comics. Just the last Ronin because I heard it was so good. Oh, I got oh, I got makes it. Oh, I got mixed up because uh, I actually didn't read the comic. It was the other way around. Shredder took Shredder stole Tommy's powers and became the Green Ranger. Oh. Yeah, that's what happens when you play on the wrong side of the field for too long. Uh, first time chat from Snezkov. Hey, yeah, having a great day. I mean, it's been relatively uneventful, but, you know, I'd rather have an uneventful day than... <laughs> Shrek <-ker. laughs> Oh, I love it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right. Go ahead. Donkey, we need to kill these turtles and make some turtle soup. Now... Thanks for giving me this mutagen strike. This I'm buff as hell. <laughs> uh, let's see. I could go for some of these other shrines, but you know, while we're hang on, is that? Oh, that's Cockroach. I don't want to go here. I want to go here actually, because there's something I wanted to. I was gonna do this off screen, but actually, kind of want to get your guys' opinions on something first. All right. I was going to dye some more of my outfit. Because not only did I pick up the Guardian outfit and the Flame Breaker, I also went back to Kakariko and I got the full set of uh of stealth equipment. Sneaking outfit? Yeah. Say now, I just want to remember where the dye is. Do they let you select the clothes to dye, or is it uh, just yeah. the clothing you're wearing? Yeah, you can. They can. You can swap clothes. Here it is. This is the dye shop. <laughs> Welcome. If you're looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you've come to the right place. Who do you do? Welcome to Koji Dye Shop, where we live to die. Here we go. For 20 rupees total, I'll dye your clothes here to the color of your choosing. Oh, would you like to get back to square one and change your clothes back to their original color? Oh, uh, let's die. Well, I mean, let's live, but, you know, let's, you know, <laughs> change the clothing of our clothes. Change the color of our clothes. It's the Hatena tradition to dye a person's whole outfit from head to toe all at once. All right, choose your dye color. Or go ahead and change clothes. So we want to go ahead. Stealth mask, stealth chest guard. And stealth tights. So, are you gonna go green or red? Well, the thing was, is I, this is the the red color, and this is green for the stealth outfit. I was gonna go all ninja and go for all black, but I don't know if I want to go completely garish with either <laughs> like the bright yellow or do something with pink, because nothing says covert like bright, shocking neon pink. <laughs> <laughs> How or, about brown? Or uh, 
well, this is where the brown color looks like here. Oh, hmm. so many good choices. <laughs> You're not a broker. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm not a broker. I, I kind of like the yellow one, and that's only because it's just so ice. <laughs> such an eyesore. <laughs> <laughs> Enemies will be dying to kill you. Especially yes, since this is a stealth suit. Yes, sir. Do something like with pink. Warform in general, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I can't remember I, if I, I tried I, to make this dark again. When I did, I tried to make it dark. It was... Was that uh, cyan or something? Yeah, light light blue. Yeah, cyan. I am digging the yellow f just for how hilarious it would be. Yeah, that's what that was. What I was because, like I said, I was gonna go. For, I mean, I can. Go, I would have gone with white, but you know, if you actually go sneaking around like in the snow section, that actually kind of makes sense. You know, you want to like the white to blend in with the snow. Uh, and the or you could go red and say, "Hey, homies, don't." Don't kill me. I'm I'm just I'm just your newest member well, of the Yika clan. Oh yeah, the Yika clan. I mean what yeah. was she scholar? What was she scholars? Say leave yellow for eyesore man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean what was she scholars? I think they were blue, weren't they? Uh Sheik's I Yeah, the, she... the, the, those were the that blue. Yeah, these are yeah, blue. Was... I thought this was more Sheik's color, it was more like the purple, either purple or <laughs> well no, that's not Blue. That's, that's I'm thinking baby. like Orkaria time, like because Impa yeah. had like a blue outfit. But yeah, we can you know blues on on here. Oh. But yeah, this is this is crimson, which is not quite his like you know eye popping as like the straight red. Let's say there's the bright yellow, there's light yellow, which is you know not nearly as vivid. As so this. yellow ranger or red ranger? So yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I think the yellow would be funny. So. But yeah, th this is why I wanted to get a vote from, from, from everyone who's like, you know. Go for pink. So, so we got one vote uh, for pink, we got one vote for yellow. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Joyce says leave, leave yellow for, for eyesore, man. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't try to cover the goofy colors. I don't know. Uh, so two votes, mm. for, two votes, two votes for pink. So, so yeah. Um. Oh man, where where is that? Where did I see him? I think I got. A, I think I still got the Deviant Art one here. I'll just I'll just pull it up real fast in case anyone's confused. Uh. Hang on. I still, I'm pretty sure I have. Drink Link, don't talk too much. Yeah, there he is. So this was an OC that I made like a freaking million years ago. Where are uh, you posting it? Oh, uh, it's on I'm Twitch. Gonna, I'm gonna post the link, the the true link to in in the Twitch chat, but I'm gonna post the uh, the picture itself. In the stream in the Discord. Uh, okay. Once I pull it back up, but yeah, there was a Pony OC maker that uh, I once used back in the day, and I went with the idea of making an OC that was as ugly and has garishly yeah has garishly ugly as uh, as possible, and I wanted to make this. As literally as much of an eyesore as I can make it, and that was what I came up with. Oh my! Oh wow! And the reason why I named him eyesore was exactly as much as that. As like, <laughs> so that was the, that was the name I gave. Him. Was, was, that was the name I gave him was eyesore, <laughs> because that was exactly what he was meant to be. Was this? When did you I have feel this bad for this char character. If if OCs could talk, yeah. When did you make this pen? Was this, this like? This was like. What have you done to me, you maniac? Uh, I look this... at the broken horn. Like, did you get the idea from the movie or just by yourself? Uh, th this was yeah. This was like long before the uh, the movie. This this was like way back in. Oh, when when was this uploaded? Uh. 
This was back in – yeah, this was back in 2012, March 20th of 2012. Oh, my God. Wow, so, yeah, that's really this, long. Yeah, this was like like uh, 10 years ago. But, Dang. yeah. So part of the reason for his conception was not just because I wanted an OC as, like, as ugly as possible. This was, like, back when uh, EJ and I were still doing BWB on the um, – Oh, this was Babel like, with Bronies, November 19th, 2011 yeah. to November 19th, 2014. Yeah, that we were still... you were on Brony State. Yeah. I mean, th- this was all, I think this was also before we had officially joined Brony State. This was back when we were still doing the, uh, um, the, the dedicated website. And, um, uh, one of the issues that we had was that every single week we had Babel with Bronies, we had some sort of technical issue going on. Um, whether it be, be something with sound or something with the stream, uh, there was always some sort of problem that happened. And, uh, the other half of Isor's creation was that he was Babble with Brony's resident gremlin. And, and he was the one that was designed, uh, he was behind all the, the technical problems that we were having. So, right. so yeah, so Half the reason was I wanted to create an OC that was as fucking ugly as possible. And then the second half was because I wanted someone to just kind of blame all our technical issues on. So <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead. Is there anything else? Yeah, because I had, I had not even seen it because like, I think I like came to Brony State like, back in 2013 because I know it was like right at I only, the end of I only whatever, went to Brony State for the... Uh... Movies and uh, occasional movie and uh, the episodes before, after the uh, hacks mega stream, the uh, site went down. Yeah, yeah here we made something very special here. If I do say so myself. You look great. You find this palette, Abel? If you'd like a read, that, just let me know. So can I say just like Link's face, like oh no. Yeah. But yes, look. We look fabulous. Uh, do we have... I don't think we have any open weapon slots, do we? No, that's fine. All right. Wait. Over here? Hello. What a great brother. The East Wind General Store is open, and it's just as lively inside there is... There as it is out here. Not very lively out here, I don't think. <laughs> Go take a look. Okay. Well, since she so kindly invited us. Uh, ooh. Take some of these arrows, though. Bomb arrows, bomb arrows. Ooh, we could definitely use some... Ooh. 350 for a stack of 10? Huh. Oh, customer, I didn't even hear you come in. Sorry about that. So what happens if we take them all? Oh, <laughs> take on almost the whole collection of rubies. <laughs> oh, my God, no. Yeah, no, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you know, I noticed you had that lantern kind of near those bomb arrows. Yeah, that's kind of... That's a, that's a hazard right there. Yeah. Link looks like a girl. Well, he does look... You know, that is kind of a, a point, uh, a bit of a plot point here, because back when Breath of the Wild was first introduced, a lot of people thought that Link was kind of feminine-looking. And they actually kind of thought that, oh, hey, we actually have a female Link that we're going to be playing as now? Wasn't there... Uh, didn't, like, Linkle, Hyrule... what a bad name. Didn't the Hyrule Linkle. Warriors had, like, a female yes. Link? Yes, uh, Hyrule Warriors did indeed have a female Link, uh, Linkle. But I'm, I'm talking yeah. about this game specifically. People thought that Link was a girl in this game before it turned out that no, he's he's as male as he ever was. He just looks kind of a a more and a bit more androgynous. <laughs> that would have been cool though, because like say like because they got the idea from Hyrule. There's Warriors. even a mission where he has to cross dress to get into the Gerudo town. Yep. In fact, we might as well go ahead and get some of that stuff taken care of out of the way. I mean, we can go ahead and get this one shrine taken care of, and then after, 
we get that, we can just go ahead and see about sneaking into uh, Gerudo Town. Or you could, after this shrine, you could get two more shrines, add two more bars to your stamina yeah. wheel, then uh, go to Gerudo Town. Yeah, well, we could do that. Because there's actually two more shrines like right outside of this area here. You can go ahead and do. And you think I'll also, if I, you I, befriend I, a dog, it may lead you to something interesting. You really, this get, one's a puzzle. Say, so Snezkov asked, do you think we'll get NPSS DLC? I don't know, honestly. Oh, yeah, there's also the DLC for Xenoblade Chronicles 3 uh, coming out in, uh, what was it, uh, this winter or? Early next year. Next year, we'll, we might have the expansion probably not until, like, next December. But, but in the meantime, time you get extra heroes and chat challenges and stuff of in, of in between, even if you buy the expansion now. Yeah. I already got the expansion, so I can't wait. Okay. Wait, do you get uh, more hero quests if you buy the expansion pass? Yeah, they, they come with... Uh, like when volume two and three comes, I think they give you more heroes. Oh, okay. I thought, oh, uh, that's what I thought. Uh, I thought, wait, they have already have that. I thought they didn't come out to wave two. Yeah, not to wave two. Right now, you get extra costumes and a bunch of no pawn coins yeah. and uh, coins and accessories. Try to see where the chests are in this dungeon, the shrine. Have you guys found where you exchange the no pawn coins? Yeah. Yeah, there's a. Uh, I, th I think it's. I know. I know where it is. It's just uh, I wonder if Rain knows because there. If you buy the uh, accessory, that's nine hundred. No, not not nine hundred. Nine ninety nine gold coins. You could revive someone regardless of your class. Yeah, he bought a couple of them already. He said. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if he knew that already or not. There's one. Oh, you got it. Before I can look yeah, it up. Mostly, been mostly using been my silver ones to level up the classes and in, in, in just instant. And just do instant cooking. Yeah. I've been doing all my things without using the coins. I did use them uh, for Noah and for one class in particular, but only the class that he wasn't good with to uh, to. I think I only I only use. But them. only by four levels, though. I think I only u use them when somebody learns when I get a new hero and that person learns a new class because I'm not sure if the ascension quests activate unless unless that character is already ranked ten. Oh, the water's uh, electrified, so don't go in it. Uh, yeah, actually, Ben, if it. you turn around and look up, there should be a treasure chest above you. Oh, man, let's skip it to our... Scimitar. Yeah, scimitar. Uh, inventory's full, though, so we can't really use it. Get the picture of it at least. Oh, true. Uh, but then he'll disappear because he already opened it. Oh yeah, you don't want to do that, do you, Ben? No. Actually, hang on. What's what's this? In... Oh yeah, I think you have to drag that to somewhere. So that's how that works. Okay. Oh yeah, you like can use it on the metal box. Yeah, on the boxes. Actually, I have a an idea. Just use the freaking chest. <laughs> yeah, the little note is too small for that. Yeah. Yep, that's all the treasure in that area. chest. <laughs> There's a chest in the dungeon right above Link's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> Your resourcefulness in overcoming this challenge yep, speaks to the promise of a hero. Yeah, that was what I was do, planning do, 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 do. That was one of the things I was planning on doing anyway was just once I got whatever was in the chest I was just going to use it as an electricity conductor in that pool anyway, so. 
and it helped good. I'll be back. I need, just need to get a water. Hey. Right. Right. Yeah, we got this shrine over here. Oh. Oh man, where did this month go? I can't believe we're already like halfway through this month. Yeah, I know. And mm -hmm. within like about three weeks, I'll be on vacation. Because oh, I, nice. got, I got this month, or this month, I got this week, the next week, and then the last week of August. But then as of uh, September 5th is, I think, Labor Day? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, th it is. But then as of September 5th, I'll have like two weeks off of work. So, oh, hey, gonna another combat trial. Going to be splat tuning, huh? Yep. Nice. A modest test. Well, so it'll be medium difficulty. Yep. It's funny because we've had two major tests in the minor last time. Might as well. Might as well uh, bounce it out this time. Yeah. Ow. I thought he was going to take a swing at me in terms of, like, making a <laughs> light arc. Yeah, I also got to imagine we're probably not going to see any more Mario Kart maps, probably not until maybe October or November. Oh, you get ready to charge his beam. Nice. <laughs> get ready, you hunk of junk. Say, Jess also thinks that she goes on vacation the Saturday after Labor Day. <laughs> so... This is where Guardian Sword Plus got thrown off to. And you can't carry any more melee weapons. No glow stick for us. That's all right. What does this have? A frost blade with a long throw mm. on it. And, uh, nuts to that. Long throws kind of useless as a. Yeah. I'll be right back. I gotta check right. on something. Is the audio down on Breath of the Wild? Can't hear anything from it. Holy hell! We've been going on for nearly two hours, and we've had no audio from the game at all whatsoever. Do do. Do, 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 do. Okay, give me a second here. I think. I did not notice that we had no audio on the game at all. I. Ah, that's actually kind of embarrassing. 
Uh, give me one second. Let me see about getting that taken care of. Let's close that out. Close that in. And hopefully... Okay, we should be... That should hopefully fix that. Personally, I didn't notice because I, I think I had the game audio muted on Discord here. Better okay. hear everyone. Yeah, because I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing now we're getting audio on, on OBS. No, I, so. I still have audio. It's just it's not coming through very well on the Discord portion for some reason on my end. Let me see about turning the the. No, you don't have to turn up the volume. I pretty no, no, much know. Th this is not for on the Discord. This is for people on Twitch. Oh, side. for they, Twitch. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, they said that they had not. They they weren't hearing Breath of the Wild at all. So I did not notice that in the least. So. So I did crank that up a bit. Hopefully it's not draining my uh, voice out at this point. Oh, hi sweetie. Mm. So. Excuse me. Yeah, going for nearly, yeah. We've been live on Twitch for nearly two hours and I did not notice any problems at all. All right. Yeah, I, I was able to hear the game problem. I was able to hear the game fine on my end. It's just. Hmm. I should have figured something was up when. Uh, Right, where am I going? Kind of figured something should have should have figured was something was up when I had to reset all of the audio settings in OBS. So, eh. You who sets foot in this shrine, I am Shodantu, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Yep, two bombs. Yeah, are you putting the Discord stream back on? Uh, well, the Discord, oh, Discord stream is not, what? No, it's not. Oh, there we yeah. go. There we go. There we go, it should be on now. Right, right, because it killed the stream as soon as I got, um, as soon as I closed out, uh, Pot Player. Right, so... Oh, there we are. Uh, radio, you might have to click the watch stream. Or is he away from the... Uh... He, he stepped away. Out. Arrow that. Oh. Alright, I'm back. What shrine is this? This is the, uh... Go Dantu. <laughs> Oh I, oh, I see what's going on. Right. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks.
Hunter. Ah. Darn. You almost made it. Almost. Close, but no cigar, as my dad would like to say. Question was, was there anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, yeah, yeah, I guess that one just had one chest. We already got it. Oh, I think I see what's going on here. Okay. <laughs> There's a bomb there. And then... This place two bombs. We got one bomb there. Yeah, that's another clever mechanic they make you use here. Because we now we have use to two of your... oh, crap. wasn't quite quick enough on the draw for that one. Maybe you should uh, hit it. Uh, Not with the bomb, but yeah. Joy. That was free what he said. Yeah, that's how I did it. Say so Nintendo would be foolish to not make some kind of Breath of the Wild 2. Um, they might go back to something a little bit more traditional, I'll agree in a time, but I think some sort of Breath of the Wild well <clears throat> that's the thing, that's that's what they are. They are making a Breath of the Wild sequel. Yeah, like yeah, right now they are, but maybe after that, maybe something new. Or something else. Yeah. Because if they venture into this territory too much, it might become monotonous. Or dull. I mean, you know, Breath of the Wild, oh, you know, it's kind of a game changer because, you know, we got all these big open games like, you know, Genshin and Horizon and Sonic and Tears and the like. Genshin is a gotcha game, and Sonic is just decided to steal your money, and uh, with the promise of it, it'll be good. Just to steal your girl, more like steal your money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I see what's going on here. Uh... You have to be on that platform when it goes yep, off. I know. Oh, crap. Uh, tries a no. I landed on the other side pretty easily. Uh, there's a door now. Are you, you on the wrong side? Oh no, I see what I need I see what I need to do. I think I gotta need two bombs again. Yeah. I really will need two bombs. Cause I need one bomb to blow up the crystal to get me onto the platform to begin with.
I needed the square bomb to get me up onto the platform to begin with, because <sighs> with the the, uh, the platforms raised, the the door was closed. But then I needed to have the uh, the round bomb overneath the switch and blow that up, so that way I can lower the platform again and raise the door. Yep. This didn't insult any player's intelligence. Either you solved it or you didn't. Didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you little scraggly cat. Hello, scraggly cat. I see there. Hey, it's a perfer. Alrighty. Uh, there wasn't a. I don't think there's anything in that town. Uh, How many spirit orbs you got? I got eight of them. Cause they want to upgrade something. Yeah, that's or... what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get at least a couple of stamina upgrades. That way, that'll, uh, that should give me at least two wheels of stamina. you at the bottom of this village if I'm not mistaken. Thanks so yeah. Okay, here we are. Okay, four spirit orbs amplify your being. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we got another stamina vessel. Do, 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 do. Right. That gives two stamina wheels. <laughs> Can't. Oh wait. Yes, I can eat it. And still get the speed up bonus. Huzzah! Nope. Don't want to. Don't want to deal with you guys right now. Thank you. Come again. That's it. I am going the wrong goddamn way. Fuck it. Hold up. 
there anything underneath this rock? No. Hello, bunny boys. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to take a slightly easier path. <laughs> It was uh, near the, uh, go down to your map. Yeah, it's like somewhere around in this vicinity. Oh, okay. Also, go down further. I think I, uh, no, I, no, go down further. Further. It it was near, if I remember correctly, it was near, either near Southern Oasis or Dragon's Exile. Okay, cool. I know this is like, this this Dragon's Exile here is like where one of the, the skeleton bones that... Uh, we need for a side quest, but I'm pretty sure that the, uh, the also uh, there's a shrine near the uh, dragon's bones. I believe you're right on that. Yeah, because there's a yeah there's a shrine near the dragon's bone and a shrine right where that area is. I know one of the. I don't think you can get to one of the shrines till you yeah. beat the divine beast. Yeah, it's just this yeah. Some shrine quests quests don't appear unless you defeat the divine beast first. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is where the Kemazu shrine is right here. The uh, Thok shrine. Because I know there's one shrine. Because yeah. I know there's one shrine in the Zora area where you have to dive off of something and pl plunge a Zora trine into something. Yeah. So yeah, the Thoke shrine's right over here, and then the uh, Hawakoth shrine's like right around in this area here. But the problem is with this particular area, the reason why I haven't unlocked any of the, most of the shrines in this area yet is because I don't know if you need to have beaten the Divine Beast for that this location yet. But I also know that uh, there is a raging sandstorm in this area. And with the constantly playing Darub, you can't even actually access your map. How many fairy fountains have you opened up yet? Three of them. Three. Ooh. Okay, yeah. The last yeah, one? Or... Need 10,000 rupees for it, I know. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, so never mind about looking for that for now. So, yeah, which is half the reason I'm not even bothering with it, because I know I need a crazy amount of rupees to even be able to access it, even if I do find it. Yeah, I thought you were. I thought this was your third one. That's why I was like, "Oh, okay." Just use ice arrows on these guys. They'll make your life easier. And they go down simple enough anyway. So. Oh, you missed a plant. That tall one. Oh, this one, the warm of Cephalina. Or the electric Cephalina. Yeah. I actually didn't want to go this direction. I wanted to go to the Karakura Bazaar. Well. Nothing for it now.
right, there's the bizarre rat off over there. All right. Oh yeah, that's right. If I remember, if once it's nighttime, it gets cold, and then yep. morning, it's like yeah, you have regular temperature. Yep, acts like a real desert. Stupid hot during the day, stupid cold during the night. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, I have to check something. This does not hurt you, huh? I was su I'm surprised. I would have thought that a prickly little cactus, as soon as you touch it, would be like, ouch! Quarter heart damage. I'm not gonna lie, that would have been funny, but you know, I'm kind of surprised that it didn't happen. Give it. Uh, is there a cork puzzle or is there the, the Gerudo ruins you're going to? Uh, I'm going for a memory here. Because there is a memory right in. Funny thing is, they let Gorons into the village because they're not technically men. Still feel kind of a bit dumb that <laughs> the first three memories I showed on stream here were all completely silent and, and no voice acting. I didn't have the game audio up. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to check that, Ben. I usually am good at checking that. Yeah. It's right here that Link, uh, not Link, but Zelda probably figured out that, oh, hey, he's actually kind of badass. Oh, this scrawny mute is not so bad after all. At least there was no dialogue on that one. Yeah. Funny. <laughs> the, the, one, the one memory that had no dialogue <laughs> is the one yeah. where we actually have sound <laughs> on it now. Uh Irony of ironies. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna travel. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna warp over here. Because I know there's not a seamstress in the in the bazaar, but there should be one in the city. Do you have the sexy outfit? Yeah. Not yet, no. Kind of badass. Has a nice ass. Fixed it for you. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, because there's a, there's someone here that we can speak to. Because if we try to go into the into the town itself, they're just gonna stop us. Hmm. <laughs> Freeze. Where do you think you're going? Uh -huh. Not into town. That's for damn sure. No vowel out. Off with you. And they're all, yeah, get the fuck out. So. Savota. <laughs> Savota. Oh, don't tell me you crossed the Gerudo Desert on foot. Yeah, no, I came on foot. <laughs> Must have been hard to walk through the desert, especially having your feet sink into the sand. 
Common sense to travel the desert with sand seals around here. My name is Freli. I run a shop in Gerudo Town where I rent out sand seals. Most people can't take the time to train their own, so I rent out the ones I've trained. <laughs> if you need to know anything about sand seals, I should be your first stop. Uh, uh if you have any questions, come talk to me. So, how do I catch one? <laughs> sand seals are especially sensitive to sounds around them. The trick is to approach very, very slowly. Or use stealth armor, like we're, we're doing. So, it's a pain in the ass, though, so most Gerudo just end up renting one instead. So, yeah, we can crouch to move quietly. Best way to learn for you to do is by just doing it. Uh? Steering a sand seal is real easy. They'll go in whatever direction you want, but you need a shield to sand seal serve. Don't forget about that. So yeah, we also need a shield so we can surf on the sand. You need to equip a shield before riding. So, okay. Mm. Oh, you're a vo. My shop's inside the town wall, so you won't be able to get in. Well. Whee! We can just go ahead and do this. Do 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 Nice. Careful if you encounter a sand eating monster. Yeah. You're not using your Hylian shield, right? No, I'm not. No. Okay, good. So <clears throat> I could go ahead and go up to <laughs> one of those Oh, you're heading into a hot area, I so saw you're taking a hit. Oh yeah. Um <laughs> he's he's conked out. Let's see, what do we hey. really want? High level cooling effect. So yeah, we got high level cooling for eleven minutes. Many years all I just got door to dance ages. So you can get the the next suit I get. Well, oh yeah. shit, cool it down. So. so I want. I don't know if this will get me into the sandstorm. This does look like I'm heading into one. I want to go up around this area. I remember what sucks though is that if the divine beast is near you, you can't teleport away. I think. No, because yeah, because it's yeah, because you can see right there the on the lower right the uh, the mini maps is kind of all fuzzy, and if we try to pull up the main one, ain't yep. nothing doing. Yeah, that sucks because I remember I've been trying to get out of it one time, and I was like, I can't leave. Like I said, this is exactly the reason why I haven't found, like, I haven't bothered going after some of the uh, the shrines in this area. Because the shrines in the desert, you have to try to locate while they're in the sandstorm. Oh, that sucks. And if you're in a sandstorm, you can't teleport out of it. So no fast travel for you. I really hope this is not in the second game. Yeah, me neither. Oh, you know it'll be making return. Well, let's see. Hey. Another reason I don't particularly care for the sand seal thing here is that, yeah, it's cool and it's somewhat, it's it's faster than you know being on foot. But it's not as fast as, like, say, being on horseback. Yeah. Also, also you, you get to fire your arrows. At... Yeah. Also, you can't ride the master cycle out here. Oh, oh hold up, hold up. Oh, there's a treasure chest right by your feet. Oh. Stop. Stop. I, stop. I command you. Uh-huh. What treasure do we got? Shock arrows. Nice. Please. Sneak up on him. <gasps> oh yeah, you have that arm armor on. Yep. That's why I said you could either crouch upon him or you could just use your stealth armor. Hey. 
Oh, there's a shrine right there. Yeah, this was one we uh, took care of last week. Took okay, care of one. Oh yeah, that's yeah. That's like hard to remember which ones you've done. Oh, they found me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tried that last time. Sound the alarm! <laughs> and they threw me out anyway. <laughs> oh, they really did throw me out. <laughs> 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 Men are forbidden from entering this town. This is Gerudo Law. Do you understand? Never come back! Or we'll chop them off! Oh god, I remember that from Five Fantasy Seven. Yeah. There is a guy we can get like some certain armor from, but I don't remember where we get it. I, th I thought he was like bizarre. chilling by the entrance. I thought. Yeah. I met him at it during the night at the bazaar, but I'm not sure if it's at night only or. I know there was. I know this guy said. I hear the man who infiltrated Gerudo Town is frequently traveling between Kara Kara Bazaar and here. So I'm waiting for him. I plan on asking him how he pulls off this amazing infiltration. Ah, oh, I guess you, I guess you're right. We have. I guess we do have to go back to the bazaar and wait for him there. All right. I think he was in the tower or building in the bazaar. And stealing your sand seal again. Hope you don't mind. Don't blame me, blame your law for not making me come into your store and pay for the ride. Yeah. Also, no, we need the Thunderhelm to even get anywhere close to Va Naparis. There is a rubber set of armor, but then it doesn't do anything against its little. <laughs> Va Naparis' electricity is so potent that rubber doesn't do shit against it. Uh, we're gonna sit here until night. at that one guy and you said he might be in the tower so we're gonna go ahead and check up there first I met him at night I didn't oh. encounter him during the day, day when I first interact with him so I'm not sure if he shows up during the day as well hi oh my what a lovely young lad you are do you need something for me Hmm. What's that? You heard about a man who snuck into Gerudo Town? Oh. I don't know anything about him. Sorry, I couldn't be more help. <laughs> Squint suspiciously. Oh. Oh, you're making my cheeks warm looking like that. Looking at me like that. You're a dude? Mm. Oh my. <laughs> you sure say the funniest things, young man. Anyway, if you don't need anything, you should be off. Oh. You still haven't given up on your search for the man who's stuck in the Gerudo town. I told you I don't know anything. Do you always doubt someone's word? Mm. You're very beautiful. Oh. That was such a nice thing to say, and I'm sure that you'd agree that these clothes only help my looks, right? Now I think about it, this style would look quite fetching on you. I'd have to charge you, of course, but I bet people would see you completely differently if you wore them. What do you think? Do you want to buy them for 600 rupees? Yes. Well, of course. It's like six hundred rupees to enter a village of all. Sign me up. Yep, it's like a third Ooh. of what we got, but that's all right. <laughs> the perfect outfit. Go ahead and change into it. I look away. Don't you worry. Yep, that's <laughs> sus. <laughs> Blush stickers. Ski. <laughs> You look adorable! Oh. Ah, oh, just as I thought. You made for quite a good looking gal. That's a traditional Gerudo outfit. It's such a striking look around here, I doubt anyone would suspect you're a man. 
On top of that, it breathes so well it helps you deal with the desert heat, at least a little. Mm. I'm so glad I was able to help you out. <laughs> if you're free to grab something to eat sometime, keep me in mind. Whoa. Oh, and da 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 da. <laughs> Make sure you watch out for the wind. Hear <sighs> that face, oh. Palm. <laughs> if you want to get more ladies' clothing, come back anytime. Alright, cool. So now we can just go ahead and fast travel back over there. Yeah, see you completely differently. Probably not in the way you're getting at. Oh! <laughs> you had to say? Oh. Eep, eep. <laughs> that lovely young lady is just my type. Yeah, I'm the same still guy you spy. spoke with. Are you still spying? Eh? What? No, of course not. I'm just investigating. Oh. This exchange feels incredibly familiar to me. <laughs> that should have tipped them off. Jesus, yeah. how dense can you be? Yeah. I don't mind me, just a regular plain old girl. <laughs> just come on oh. in, tee hee. And we're inside. Also, if we like take off any part of our armor, I think they like recognize us immediately. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Better not try it. Yeah. Sava, sava. Hey. Ooh, that Gerudo top looks really good on you. But you haven't really lived until you've got several colors to choose from. What do you say? <gasps> hmm, different color? You don't know, really? <laughs> Changing the color of your clothes is a really trendy thing to do right now for a young Vi traveling beyond town. There's a store in Hateno Village, the Kochi Dye Shop, where you can dye your clothes. Hateno Village is pretty far away, though. Not everyone gets to go there. Ah. Uh, so what? You, <laughs> you're just wanting to, like, buy different clothes? <laughs> nice and cool this evening, isn't it? A nights like this, I like to relax and grab a drink at the canteen. Let's say I grew to Veil, grew to Top, grew to Sea I believe that's what we already have on now, just on a different clothing. Or different color, yep. Sir Wall, Veil, Top, yep. Yep, okay. One of these people here has a name ending in Sun. And we need to speak to them. Because we're looking for a seamstress. Maybe you have better luck during the day. Probably. So. Uh. Mm. What's the? Oh, she saw her right through our disguise. <laughs> <laughs> you can't trick an old lady. <laughs> Surprised you might be able to fool all the other vi around here, but you won't fool me so easily. Don't worry though; it doesn't matter much to me what you do. But since you came all the way back here, maybe you'd like to sit back here and chat. Have you ever left town? Oh. Oh, I may not look it now, but I was quite the traveler when I was young. Quite the beauty, too. It was a rare thing for a bow not to notice me coming to her room. But I had a fairy tale ocean in mind. I'd heard of the Lover's Pond, and I thought I'd meet my true lover there. Traveled all across Hyrule searching for this fabled place, but I couldn't find it. Oh. Before I knew it, I'd grown old. The though no longer turned when I locked in. Oh, don't look so sad. I stopped being sad about it a long time ago, and I chased my dreams. <laughs> That's it's a chat with the young Vo again. Will you humor me a bit longer? Mm. Oh, the goddess statue's been here ever since long before I was even born. No one here really believes that stuff anymore, so they tend to avoid stopping here. Kind of like how they avoid me. But someone has to keep the goddess company st goddess statue company, so here I am. <laughs> Uh, no, I have to go oh. ahead and head up. Maybe I'll have to the fullest little man. Alrighty, yeah. Smuggling a sausage and two eggs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought of it that way. I'm gonna have to remember that would one. Would you like the? Would you like a sausage with those eight green eggs and ham? There's a, a sledgehammer. Oh, and a treasure chest. I'm just gonna steal this. Cool. Grand theft. Yep. 
Don't know whose hundred bucks it was, but it's mine now. Suckers. Let's say, uh, Dagron, even with the divine beast out there, a little <sighs> violet you just strolls in the town. Done well to make it here. The chief keeps saying everything's gonna be okay, but thinking about the divine beast makes me get easy. Well, we'll talk about that later. Oh, hey, you have a side quest. Talk to me. You got the last of my free time with that greeting. What's the matter? I manage a shop that specializes in handmade accessories, but I've run out of flint. I need to make my own. So I got plenty of that. If you only had ten, just ten pieces of flint, I could offer a nice reward. Well, I've got plenty of that. Accessories. I use rubies, sapphires, and other gems to make accessories. Each gem type has its own power that can transfer to whomever wears it. Nothing I could do about not having any flint, though. I'm pretty sure I've got ten flint. Yeah, there you go. Oh, nice. ten, ten pieces of flint. Mm -hmm. She's all like, what? You're just giving these to me? <laughs> uh, Sarsko! But I can't take this all from you without with just a Sarsko. We hardly know each other and you've been so nice. Mm -hmm. The shop's been closed for so long, I hardly have any inventory. Mm -hmm. But now that I have some flint, I can make a jeweled accessory for you if you're interested in something. Oh, I wish I could check my... What do you have for rubies? Rubies have the power to grant cold resistance. Do you, would you like a ruby circlet? Actually, what about you get something that prevents the heat? Uh, sapphire. Sapphires have the power to grant heat resistance. Would you like a sapphire surfer? Yes, please. <laughs> I thought you might pick that one. Please give me my... Yeah, because topaz grant electricity resistance. <laughs> now, we barely have anything that actually deals with heat, so... Brand new, especially for you. I think it turned out really well. Oh, nice. Sapphire circlet. Hell yeah. Ma. Thanks to you, I got the shop running again. So if you ever need an accessory, please come by for a special discount. Just don't tell the other customers, okay? Uh, so... Yep. No, that's, that thing's hiding, hiding your face. Don't put yeah. it on yet. Say, yep. Highland Valley, huh? Sab Saba. Look for something to drink and maybe some snacks, yeah? I hear you. Uh, yeah, you're. You're the end. Also. Oh, Blood Moon! Where is. <laughs> I, I heard the music act all funky and stuff. Where where I need. I need a. You're not the legend of the. Is it like the air is already changing? Cooking, uh, cooking pot is it, uh, further into the castle. Uh... Oh, I'm not going to make it, damn it! <laughs> oh, well. The blood moon rises once again. And the enemies have been reformed again. <laughs> so the main reason why I was looking for a cooking pot was well, to try to... to you know, take advantage of this is because every time you cook something, you always have a small chance of getting a better effect on what you cook on. Ah. But the thing is, is that whenever you cook during a blood moon, especially during that that area just before midnight, uh, if you cook as many deal uh, as many dishes as you can, you will always get that extended benefit. Oh, cool. So. It is always suggested to cook as many deals, as uh, many dishes as you can during the Blood Moon whenever you po possibly can take advantage of that. Yeah, I didn't hear of this information to actually uh, after I was finished. Yeah, to find the seamstress, ah! you'll have to wait till morning. That's the sand seals. Well, I mean, technically it is morning right here. It's 12:55 in in game, but uh, where is a high tail lizard uh, popped right near you? Yeah, already no, I picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> There's the canteen. These people are looking drunk. <laughs> I'm actually looking for a uh, uh, 
campfire that I can sit next to. Uh, for a cook or just to let time go by? Just let just let time pass. You know what? I think I might have to. Yeah, because you could use your wood and use your fire sword. Or, or a fire arrow. Yeah. There you go. Hey, time to become Chef Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking raw! <laughs> what is this? It looks like my grandmother's arsehole. I feel like I've met you before, but I don't recall having any Hylian acquaintances. Especially since I've always served in the palace, I've never even set foot beyond the town walls. But I can relax at last now that Bellaria has come of age, but then something like this happens. I'm retired though, so it doesn't anything I can do about it. Ooh. Little while ago, a gang of thieves slipped into the palace and stole the chief's heirloom, the Thunderhelm. Bad enough to be robbed in general, but for the object stolen to be a valued heirloom belonging to our own chief. If I was still in charge, any god who'd fail to catch those thieves would be doing some serious manual labor. Then they'd be thrown back in the training, all the way from the beginning. No exceptions! Oh. Back in my day, these kids wouldn't be so damn soft. Uh, there's a Rito here. Uh. A, a Val Rito. Arrows, arrows, arrows up the wazoo here. Ah. All of them. That's three of them, so it's ah. yeah, they, they say they're going to restock, but here's a bit of a funny thing here. Oh, 69 arrows. Nice. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> so, yeah, so fun thing about the arrows when they're, like, you know, in a shop area like this, if you happen to have, like, more than 50, they're not going to restock them for you. <laughs> Uh oh, bro. Yeah. Well, fine. I'll take my business elsewhere. Yeah. I'll take my money elsewhere. Ah. Ooh, 600, 600 rupees for bomb arrows? Damn. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll just oh, they, they're learning from Flim and Flam. Yeah. Supply and demand. I could speak to the chief and get the actual, like, storyline started on this one. Just, you know, unlock the way to the, uh, whatchamacallit. But I think it'd just oh, be fun. To the Divine Beat? Yeah, I think it'd just be funny if we just, like, take on the, uh, uh, Giga Clan, like, out <laughs> outside the intended order. I don't know, but do you want to do that? Because if you trigger the Divine Beast and you want you need to go there, you might get stuck in the Sandstorm. Well, that, that's the thing about the Divine Beast. We have to have the Thunder Helm to even be able to get to the Divine Beast to begin with. That means we have to take on the Yiga Clan anyway, one way or the other. Oh, okay. So. The main reason I'm even here is because I'm wanting to look for that Seamstress. Uh, so we can, like, get the Tari Town side quest taken care of. The thing is, uh, is that I want to get the Tari Town side quest taken care of because... In case our Hylian shield breaks, we at least can have an opportunity to go there and get another one. Because uh, since we got the one out of the, the Hyrule Castle, if the ca if this one breaks, we can't go back to the castle to get another one. At least I don't. You think know, we... you know who the seamstress is. Uh, I don't know who she is. I don't know where we can find her. I just know that her name ends in Sun, and that. That's pretty much the only thing. That oh, we're... Ronson, right? Ronson, yeah. Ah. Is uh, she could be found at the Kyra Kara Bazaar, huh? where she's searching for the love of her life. Well, she was originally. Oh, sorry, Ben. So always back to the bazaar. God damn it! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so there's no point in me coming to the into the to the town. At least you look pretty. <laughs> so, yeah, oh. she could... Yeah. The, the only problem with, with going back to the bazaar is that there's no fast travel option for the bazaar spell. Oh, right. I need my stealth. Yeah, so the reason she's there is because 
She is being pressured by her mother to find a husband to settle down with. And the search has exhausted her. If nothing else, I mean, even if, even if it kind of was wasting time in, in the town, at least we got the uh, the heat circlet and the, um, the heat armor, the, the girl yeah. armor. So, you know, it, that that's you know, yeah, that works out good at least. Yeah, so we don't have to worry about the having the heat resist potions anymore. Since we get, now have the armor to just do that for us. There we are, Ronson. Who are you? Uh, you're a Vo, aren't you? I am. Why? No, I bet Mama would have a problem with a delicate Vo like you. Oh yes, I'm Ronson. I hail from Gerudo Town. The search for the love of my life, I'm so exhausted by it. Huh, sounds rough. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even saying this. It's no business of a highly unlike you, but... I'm constantly being bothered by my mother over not having found the love of my life. Huh, <laughs> no, Mel Gerudo. Why the rush? Huh? You don't know, really? It's incredibly rare for a male to be born to the Gerudo. For our own survival as a people, we travel to find husbands. I've proven myself to be a gifted tailor, but none of the Vo I've met seem to appreciate a well-helmed garment. I was really hoping that my craft would help me find a mate, but it doesn't seem like there's much work for a tailor around here. Well, lady, you are in luck. Have we got the place for you? I wonder if there really is someone out there for me. Go to Tari Town. Hey, what is it? So abrupt, too. Let me hear the details. Yeah. Hudson in Tari Town needs a tailor? That's something, I suppose. The Alakala region is kind of far away, but maybe I need to travel. Getting far away from a village full of I? <sighs> it's not like I'm accomplishing anything by staying here. I'll continue my search in Tari Town. Thanks for all the information. I'm going to go home and pack a huge bag. That'll be a long journey all the way there. I'll no doubt see you again in Tari Town. That is true. It is a long way from here. Yep. Delicate though, wearing pink, I could see why she would think that of, of Link, yeah? <laughs> yeah, Bronson. Real men a... wear pink. Yeah, pink was indeed a male color for the longest time. Mm hmm. <laughs> All those golf shirts and uh, Hawaiian shirts were kind of pink at one time. Let's say Bronson, as in Charles Bronson? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I didn't remember the name. Uh, just yeah, uh, there was Hudson in this area, which is where we. Uh... I could go back to the the. You know what? Actually, let's go ahead and do that because. I want to stock up some fairies. And I want to see if I can upgrade any of my... any of my clothing. three of them. This works. Alrighty, what can we enhance? Ooh, we can enhance only two pieces of the greaves. Ooh, but we can increase our the barbarian stuff. Ooh. 
Yeah, high heels were originally for men too? Huh, I didn't know that. That's interesting. Can enhance? Can we enhance? No, but we can enhance the sapphire. What do we need? Oh, we need the Lionel hoof for the. Oh, we need to go freaking. Oh boy, mm -hmm. we need to kill more Lionels. <laughs> nice. Okay, oh. let's uh, enhance the sapphire circle. It. Oh. we can enhance with that yes we can use more sapphires to sort to increase it some more i love how it just every time we enhance something to like even further up it's just uh the great fairy animations get more and more physical yeah I was, I was thinking more like over the top, but like, this works. Ooh, star fragments. We can go ahead and do that. <laughs> this is one of the things I wanted to show off. I don't think we have it. Yeah, we don't have anything. We, we can't upgrade this to level four because we don't have the fourth great fairy unlocked. But um, oh, yeah. I know the, the animation is where for like the level four upgrade, because the level four upgrade, I think, is like the highest upgrade they can do. But the, the biggest one is uh, my cat. She straight up abducts you and yeah. takes you to the flower. I was about to say, yeah, I would normally let, I would normally have Cinder over here to kind of help demonstrate, but she's sleeping on it. I don't want to bother her. But, uh, but yeah, she, like, lifts Link, like, right off the platform, like, brings him into the air, and, like, just brings him down into the pool with her. <laughs> yeah. So, Second or not, he lost his virginity that day. <clears throat> let's say, look yes. how far we've come with these great fairies. <laughs> I guess Link isn't into macrophilia, says EJ. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's just like she she blows on you for the first one. The second one, she kind of like kind of kisses her lips and kind of taps you on the head. The third one, she like just brings you into like just a, a straight up like like macrophilia. Is that a size fetish or? Yes. So so macrophilia is like for for like you know, like having a uh I want I kind of hate using the term having a fetish basically. For giant women or well just giant people in general <laughs> not necessarily giant women yeah. But, yeah, but we're talking like really tall like over seven feet tall women oh. seven feet tall people again <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, I forget let's Let's do the at least the greaves and the the queerus. Yeah, the reason why I say giant women is because most thing most subjects of macrophilia I have seen have been mainly female oriented. It's one of those catch-all terms where it just doesn't really matter. Guys, dudes. Mm. Dudes, dudettes, whatever. <laughs> oh. Uh, do we have anything else that we can... No, it doesn't look like it. Actually, yes, we do. We can oh, have... ancient core. Yeah. I don't know if I want to do that right now, though. Does he want to get something else? 
Well, I, I kind of want to get more of those ancient floors because I want to get through the whole set if at all possible. <laughs> But hey, since you know, since we had the blood moon, guess what? Guess what came back? <laughs> we can go back to the Hyrule Castle Town, bully more guardians. Sorry, Wait for where... rain to sunny immediately. Yep. There's Hudson. Oh. Hey. You found someone from the Gerudo. Thank you. She was able to patch every last hole in my work clothes before I could blink. She's pretty or er, amazing. And since her name is Ronson, I have no objections. I hear she's decided to continue putting her skills to use by opening a clothing shop. She'd stop by and say hello. Mm. Well, next is... So before more people can move here, we need more homes for them to live in. Can you bring me 30 bundles of wood? Bring them back and combine it with what we've already gotten and get started on even more houses. How many oh, bundles yeah, of wood? I forgot that's the guy who wants like the sun name to yeah. people. How many bundles of wood do we have? 17. Okay. Um... You need 13 more, so time to cut down trees. So she goes flirting with you to taking you home with her and calling you her own. I could think of worse fates. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any... Well, actually... Be thankful it's not the Amazon women from Futurama. Oh yeah, death by snoo snoo. Hell yeah. If you go to the Temple of Time, wasn't there, isn't there you usually spawn an axe there? I think there was, now that I think about it. Uh, that's Shrine of Resurrection. I'm just gonna go back to the tower. I know you can find axes on a couple of a couple of stables as well, but it's just easier to find it over here. Yeah, Death by Snoo Snoo. I could think of worse <laughs> worse fates. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, you should return to Hetsu at some point to get your gear slots upgraded. Oh yeah, that, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, where is... Temple Town's right over there. Okay. Okay, because there's a... There's a woodcutter's axe, I think, closer, closer by the... Trying to resurrection, I believe. Oh. I want to save that. Let's go ahead and just... Hello! Ugh. Kill you in one hit. I'll slide. You, you are insignificant now. Hylian treasures, oh. Kinda surprised I didn't pick that up earlier. How many hours am I into this game and I'm only now just getting the basic equipment? Because I ran past it so many hours ago. He needed more of those. Yeah, definitely need more ancient gears. Correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't this stuff also restock to in the, uh... Every blood moon, once you like, kill for them. Uh, not in the Wii. Not to my memory, but I had the. Ah, oh, there he is. There, there's, there's an axe. And I can't carry any more melee weapons because I'm full up.
You don't have enough characters. Actually, to actually, you, actually, you can use the double-edged sword as uh, cutting down trees just as well. How many Kurok seeds do you have, Ben? Uh... Let you know here in a second. 73. I bet, like, that he has on him, like, before upgrading. Uh, I don't know. I thought my head on that. I guess it's in oh, twenty. Oh, there it is. Twenty right here. Yep. Okay. Do you have enough to upgrade a weapon slot or not? I should be able to. I, but I didn't even know you could use the double-edged sword to chop down trees like that. Yeah, I didn't. Either. Huh. Well, you know. Til. <laughs> I know you use bombs to like blast things as well. Yeah. Uh, that's 24. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, there it is. 28. Unless you want to get some for your Sue. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> we'll get at least a couple, so. Go on until you get 35 or 37. Or to or till forty just to be on the safe side. It's thirty four. <laughs> I was like, you said thirty seven, I'm like thinking that's kind of an arbitrary number, but <laughs> oddly specific. Go until this thing breaks. <laughs> Open up a button slot. There we go. 41. And since we're in the neighborhood, well, not in the neighborhood, but since we can get to the neighborhood. No, you need 42? <laughs> well, we're going to be handing them over, like 30 of them over anyway, so. If that were the case, I'd have to get up to 72. That way we can still have 42 when we're done. Shaka laka. Alrighty. Weapon stash. Twelve Korok seeds. Let the expansion begin. We can upstairs. Now we need 12 for the bow. And what do we need for a shield? 10 for the shield. We oh, don't have just enough. one off. Two off, actually, because we have eight. Oh, okay. I thought it said nine. Alright. Yeah. Expansion began. Leleni here. <laughs>
stealing your apples. It's not like you eat anyways. Yeah. Do Koroks even have a mouth? And I honestly didn't they see They have me. a cooking pot, so they must have a mouth somewhere. That's not true. That's a good point. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. <laughs> Did you bring 30 bundles of wood? Yes, sir. Hmm. And next is... Finally starting to look like a town around here, which is exactly why I needed to set up some, some distribution. I'd like to get a general store up and running, but there's no one with the connections and qualifications to run it. I think you can keep an eye out for someone who knows about distribution and run a general store? Like a traveling trader? It's a good thought. Rito can fly around, so they should be able to retrieve and deliver supplies. Good luck, you'll need it. This one seems like a real long shot. Oh, and one last wrinkle. In accordance with official Bolson construction policy, that someone's name must end in sun. If you run into someone that fits with uh, what I said, send them here to Tari Town. So we need to go to find a Rito merchant. Uh, that should be at least, at least you can teleport there. Yeah. Thanks. Um, I was gonna travel back to Taran. I um, almost called it Tarano Town, and then I almost said Toledo Town because I can't freaking remember the name of the train. Hatano Town. <laughs> huh. They could be like an octopus. Its butt is also its mouth. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh no. Both Jess and EJ had the same thought. <laughs> you both know where to go. Yeah. Let's see, giant broccoli needs a seat fix. <laughs> also, uh, birds don't exactly have a defined unit like we're like most people think. It's a puzzle one. Alrighty, so what puzzle is this one? Uh, Rukomag, name of the goddess Hylia, after this trial. Five flames. Okay. What was this shrine called again? Uh, Ruko Mag. Oh, I, f I see what's going on here.
Ben, behind the uh, block, there should be a chest. There's there's two of them, actually. I could take uh, care of those easily. Yep, you can use the fire, uh, fire or maybe your magnet, I think. It's on a, like a platform you can burn. Yeah. God, Arcan Archery is actually a thing in this game. Right, take care, EJ. See ya. Later, EJ. Silver bow. And this has... Opal. Opal. <laughs> yep, those are the only two treasure chests in this dungeon. Pretty much light the fire without it going in the water. Yeah. Yes, it will. Okay. Ah, nice. If you can't have a machine do it, then just do it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> what is Gravity's cat doing the treasure chest? I have no idea. <laughs> well, we know the results of Schrodinger's cat now. Yeah. Yeah, I just thought to myself, well, hey, I've got fire arrows. If I just open up to like an uh, an unlit torch and just use a fire arrow well, uh, that should work I would think and yeah lo and behold totally did yeah I got the name you're looking for Ben do you want it do you want the name uh yes please actually all right his name is Fison Fison okay F-Y-S-O-N it's kind of hoping to show this off before EJ left for the night but uh there's a sound effect from these guys on Link's house here. I I probably should have held off a little bit more in regards to doing anything with it. I don't know. Should we save the Divine Beasts, one of the dungeon, for next week instead? Uh, no, we can get one of them done tonight. All right. Which one are we? Which one we uh, go for though? Is uh. Still matter. Wait, well, you had a plan, didn't you? You wanted yeah, to start kinda, with the. Yeah, I was thinking you wanted to start with La Redania first, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah we'll we talked. Do that one. Yeah, we talked to Bolson. Go ahead and have. See, gear displays. Yeah, we can go ahead and do another bow mount. Mm. Payments due up front. It's okie doo. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have to pay just to have it being hanged on the wall. Yep. Okie doke. How's some coming for you? Mm. Well, it's in construction. What's our credo? Thwump, th thunk, zwip, hammer, saw. Oh. Good rhythm. Oh. Good job. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, that's fine. Let's go. I love that little sound effect when they they work. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there's really not a whole hell of a lot else we can do. I mean, I've got the the savage lamo blade that I stuck in here, just you know for shits and giggles. I already got two more weapon ones. I can get at least, I think, one more bow stash on here. Uh, I don't know how many I can actually have. I know I got one shield rack. I think I can get maximum with three shield racks on here. I now have a bed. I've got lighting installed. Pretty much the only thing I'm missing is a door. And then any of the uh, external stuff. Uh, unfortunately, doors are not easy to make. Just not like in Minecraft. Yeah. 
So, how many more do we... Well, actually, if we're going to be going to... Uh, whatchamacallit. Flamebreaker boots. Flamebreaker armor. And then Sapphire Circle for the heat resistance, just cause. Yeah. So you get the helmet. Yeah. I forgot who had the helmet. Uh, actually, helmet is... Still at the shop? Yeah, it's right in the shop area up here. But you don't need it anymore because you got that trinket. Yeah. Yeah, but you get, a, like, a boost, though, if you get all the armor yeah, pieces. Yeah, if you have the full set, you get an additional, like, benefit. Are there more places where you can have a house? Not to my knowledge. You can only have it there in Hateno Village. And I believe uh, you get that... Sp oh, my shield's burning. Uh, fine. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't have a wooden shield or nothing. I can't have a wooden... Oh, my bow's burning, too. Holy hell. All right. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Wait, wait, why is my stuff still smoking? Oh, right, my my bow. Oh, you haven't done this shrine yet? No. There's right, quite a lot of shrines I haven't done here yet. Well, yeah, it looks like uh, maybe a fighting. You know? Nope, a puzzle. Shay Mosa, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Swinging flames, okay. Uh. Well. They mentioned swinging flames, so... Oh yeah, interesting. If you didn't have any flame arrows, been there would have been like a lantern you could have shot down to burn it. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, yeah, Ben, after you destroy those, um, when you went through the door, if you... Oh, you see the chest, okay. Yeah. Oh wait, that's a different chest. There's another one I found. When you right before you enter this room. Alright. I'll go back for it. Oh, that actually auto rebound. Oh, nice. Huh. Only for the small guardians, I imagine. Yeah, like the easiest ones. Oh, yep, there it is. What is this? Stone Smasher! You could just use normal arrows and just... Never mind. Uh, I just, uh... I think there's something up there we could... We'll probably have to do something with that, that wheel. That. Yep, there's another chest on the floor you're on. If you, uh, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, if you go, if you jump down there, Ben, from the left. Oh, I see left it. Side. I see it. Nice arrows. Nice. Did that big ball drop down? Uh, I think it's still by the gate where the. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, like the gate's not open. Is... There's another chest right there. Is it 
unlock this gate. Oh, that's one of the chests you're gonna actually need. Small key, yep. Also, that is all the chest. Tearing these fire arrows are. Yeah. Cool, too. That it's like you could use normal arrows too to get through it with the. That was what I was trying to do, and they just, they just kept bouncing off that lantern. Oh. That was why I was like, yeah, fuck, I'm just gonna go back to the fire arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Burn everything, just says. Yeah, she's also asking about the house thing because she enjoys the house building, furnishing, and Skyrim. But, yeah, no, she says, you know, I just enjoy Skyrim in general. So. Yeah, nothing wrong with enjoying Skyrim. Alrighty. Goron City is down here. Oh, I don't want to go in the lava. Oh, no, no, thank you. <laughs> Who are you, Molten Jesus? You might be heat resistant, but you can't. You're not resistant to lava. Say this is not. <laughs> oh, he has the oh, side he's got quest. A yep. Drive that blaster, Rudania. What's wrong? Mm. With Rudania running wild recently, Darth Mountain. <laughs> Darth Mountain. Death Mountain's <laughs> eruptions have gotten real bad. You see Rudania stomping around there on the mountain? They say that a hundred years ago it actually used to protect our people from harm. But that was then and this is now. Now all it does is fuck up our mining operations. We're all suffering because it's stopping us from doing business. Can't tell you how many times we've used the cannon to chase off that fiend. But it always comes back. Oh, oh his back is <laughs> bothered him. <laughs> Some back pain, he says. <laughs> yeah, who we are, to which we reply that we're a traveler. He sees, and then you come all your favor all this way to pay our respects to me. I like you already, brother. Oh, well, my name's Bluto. You seen that blessed Popeye around? Tell him I said fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the great Goron boss who's fearsome enough to silence a crying child. Or make a silenced child cry either way. Yes, it's none other than I, Bluto. Plan to drive off Rodania like I always do, but this blessed pain in my back flared up out of nowhere. Mm. I'm blessed you know, but when will he return? Who is Yunobo? Yunobo's a young Goron who helps me drive off Rodania. He went to grab some painkillers from my back at the abandoned North Mine, but he hasn't come back yet. Uh, you say you're heat proof, you'll be fine if you go for a dip in the lava. It's like a hot spring to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, slacker, I bet he's off somewhere wasting time. Hey, if you haven't seen Yunobo, let him know uh, I'm looking for him, will ya? Ugh, I heard that crack on there. Just ouch. <laughs> 
Alrighty. Uh, let's go see if we can't get the flame breaker head armor. And then we'll go hunt down Unobo. This is the general store, I think. Yeah, it takes... Yeah, this is the one beast I never finished. Like, I did all three and then I just stopped all of a sudden. I don't know why. Yeah, it was the same thing for me. I just I just didn't get... I mean, I got Va Ruta, Va Meadow, and Va Nabaris, and then just never came... I started coming up here to, to Goron City, but I just never got This to. is the third shrine I did. Yeah. Yeah, I did the same. Like, I came up here and then I just like... Wait, why did I just stop playing all of a sudden? Yeah, I just almost in, in my case it was more like oh, two thousand rupees. I do not have enough to. I dedicated six months yeah. to this game. <laughs> Good. Uh, yeah, this gonna say you could probably sell something, maybe get yeah. that mount. Uh, Snezkov is yeah, Snezkov is also heading out. Thanks for the punch from me. Hey, thanks for stopping on by. Appreciate you being here. Later. So uh, we want to go ahead and sell off. Well, I could sell quite a few of these. Let's go ahead and sell. Uh, 59. Ooh. There we go. Now you got enough. Now we have more than enough to get the, uh, the headset. Oh. What, Gorons are doing podcasts now? Yeah. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Flame Guard gives us... It looks kind of kind of ridiculous on him. Yeah. But well, at least now, you get, like, a boost now. Yeah. Now, even with the flame temperature as maximum temperature, we're not going to burst into flames at all. We are completely immune to fire. But... Still not immune <laughs> to lava. Nope. <laughs> Thankfully, I think it only does like one heart of damage to us. Yeah. Oh, so, that's good at least. Uh, might as well go ahead and. Which is kind of funny because if I remember Arcary of Time, if you had the fire tunic, you you were immune for for a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I can't go any higher than that. That's kind of a shame. Sorry about red tunic. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing. It was called the Goron tunic in the N64 version. So, because, you know, you had the red tunic that protected oh, yeah. you from the heat. But the N64 game also had it to where you could stand in lava, and all it would do is just slowly sap your health and set mm -hmm. you on fire. But, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> basically, standing in lava was really no more dangerous than standing in a really hot tub of water just, just mildly distressing but aside from a few mild burns you really weren't in any real danger yeah still remember that creepy the creepy chant they did in the fire temple I wish they hadn't removed that yeah. like I get why they did it but it was it brought it was kind of cool so I know that the the chant are you talking about the the original like beta fire temple version or are you talking about what was in the finished product it was in the finished product because i remember having that version where they were doing the chanting okay i can't remember if the captain did or not in the 3ds remake they didn't i i played it recently they just they had the yeah they changed it because uh i don't remember why i think it's because it's from a different country i know that one of one of the reasons they had was that one of the versions they had with the chanting was that it was a legitimately like Muslim type chant that they were doing. Yeah. So that's why. Oh, so, so that's why. Oh, but it's muted. I was about saying the same thing because it was an Islamic chant, and that's also why they changed the mirror shield because I think it was also an Islamic thing. Yeah. The, yeah, we saw. Um, yeah, because they had the uh, the moon and star thing, and it was kind of seen as like an Islamic thing. Yeah, that that was. Yeah. That was a neat bit of a history. Uh, why did they change? The wasn't racist or anything, was it? 
I always kept thinking that the the chant that they were doing was trying to please Vavagia for not being for not like eating the Goron. Well, I think I think what happened is is they whoever picked the Islamic chanting didn't know it was Islamic chant. I think they thought it was just stock chanting until they re realized the meaning of it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, because I remember when I was little that 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 was creepy. Because then they check. Because the re it's not in the three years because they already removed it in the N64 version in a later revision. Yeah. Because, like, the GameCube <laughs> version GameCube had the. Uh... What are yeah, you trying to do? I'm going to do something silly that I saw on a video, and I want to see if I can actually get this to. Uh, I can pull this You want to save Ben in case it goes wrong? Oh, yeah, it might not be a bad idea. Talk about soft locking yourself. Oh! oh. <laughs> Oops. That didn't work out the way I planned it to. So, there was a way that if, um... I don't oh, the, know. that's an autosave, Mr. Ben. You're up, yeah, uh, load your autosave there. Oh. Oh yeah, you're right, huh? That's kind of uh funny timing. Yeah. So the way I was trying to work on this was uh, I probably should have tried doing tried doing this off screen, but oh, oh. that's a shame. Well, it gives you one. So uh it doesn't really matter. What was going uh, on was I was trying to set it up to where if I was doing Magnesis on the um, the bottom one with a second one on top, if I had Magnesis on the bottom, you could actually have it like turn into a bit of a flying machine, and you could travel across Hyrule like that. Oh, that would have been fun. Where we're going, Marty, we don't need... I say, because... Um, the, the video I saw did that trick where it was like they, they took two carts from Goron Seti and using Magnesis were able to use this and fly all the way out to the Gerudo Desert in like six minutes. <laughs> it was funny as hell. Uh, there's also another crazy one I want to try at some point. I don't know if I'll do it tonight, but I might try this either next Does week Does it involve... Cluckies? No. It involves ice arrows, shield jumping, and basically traveling across the map at like 88 miles per hour. Oh god. The way it is is that you, you freeze an enemy with a uh, with an ice arrow, then you shield jump off of it, and if you get the angle and the timing just right, the, uh, the bounce sends you flying across the map at a ridiculous speed. <laughs> nice. Am I going to be able to make that? I should uh, be able to. Yeah. Yeah, you should be able to. Just got to keep... Just got to run. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Had enough stamina just to be able to barely make that. Yep. See, you me. needed that. Bye -bye. Alrighty. I don't... I don't think you want to live there, dude, because it's kind of hot up there. He likes it hot, hot, hot. Yeah, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot! Uh, there is... Oh. Hello, sir. Oh, yeah, the construction hat. Yeah. Aww. Yeesh, what's going on today? So many people out and about. You should know it gets much hotter past here. There are also lots of monsters. It's really dangerous. You know, Yunobo? Oh. Why is a stranger like you asking about Yunobo? Boss wants to know. No. Huh? Boss does? Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love his face. I'm going to take a snapshot of that. <laughs> well, I, I guess I better tell you where Yunobo is. Oh. Yunobo went to the vault to fetch some painkillers, but now that I mention it, I suppose he never came back. This is dangerous, so you probably shouldn't go looking for him. You need something else? 
Yeah, where the... Oh, oh. Well, no. I was gonna talk to you, but you know what? You sound boring anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my job. This boss wants to know where Yunobo is, and I aim to go get him. Also... Uh-oh. Uh oh Uh-oh. Oh. That could've been oh, him, really. I know you can technically use bomb arrows, but using them in this area would be a very bad idea because trying to use bomb arrows in a fiery hot lava place like this. Ha 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 ha. Am I going to be able to make that? Uh, yes, barely. No, barely. Jesus, I thought you weren't going to. I thought that. I was going to the lava, yeah. Oh yeah, there's like a memory thing around here, isn't there? Yeah, there's, there's a shrine in this area, but I think I have to beat Revive Rudania first before I can access it. Also, I see exclamation points! Huh. Oof! Ow! That didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Oh... Uh... Forever, bud. That's for heat resistance, not for bomb resistance. Yeah. Why will this not blow up? Yeah, maybe we gotta be closer. Oh, bombs just don't work? Oh, I'm not gonna maybe to... you need ice arrow. Oh, maybe I need to use the cannon. Does the cannon work? Yeah, load the bomb up in there. Uh, question. How do I turn this thing? I don't know, is that... Do you like that? No. Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, I guess maybe gotta hit it again. Well, it's... Oh, that works. There he is. Did do do ding. Go on, youth. <sighs> now that I've gotten a good look. Whoa, it's a Hylian! Hmm. Are you the one that broke through the crag to rescue me, Goro? Thanks, brother. What brought you out all the way here to begin with? <laughs> Looking for you. Oh. oh, so that's it. Boss told you to come find me. Oh. Here, thank goodness. In any case, I sure am glad you saved me, Goro. The name's Yunobo. Everyone calls me Yunobo. Makes sense, Goro. Came to get some painkillers for Boss, but a magma bomb caused a rock slide, sealing the entrance. By the way, how'd you break those rocks at the entrance? <laughs> With a cannon. Huh? Huh? You used Boss's cannon? 
<laughs> that thing is so difficult to use. I thought only boss could handle it. Oops, I nearly forgot. This isn't the time to chat. I need to deliver these painkillers as soon as possible. Oh. Sorry, I gotta run. But do come by and see boss later, alright? He may be gruff, but he always repays a favor. I'm sure there's a reward in it for you. Okay, goodbye for now. And he goes tumbling down the mountain. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, 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 rawhide. Actually, I think I could probably just... Fast travel. Yeah, I'm just gonna fast travel, yeah, because fuck going through all that nonsense. Uh, we can go for close to four hours, almost. Not quite, but... There he is. Ah, oh, it's the tiny traveler. Yunobu told me all about you, open brother. Here's a reward for you. Islands like you need this sort of thing, right? Fireproof elixirs, which we don't need because we already got the flame breaker armor. Yeah. <laughs> okay then, I took my painkiller, so it's I guess it's time to meet up with Yunobu. I mean, no disrespect to Daruk's legacy, but if I'm not there to give that Rodania a good walloping, Daruk, you really tell me you don't know about Daruk, the Goron champion? You see that statue up there? That's Daruk. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I didn't even see that. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I didn't notice that as well. Oh, and it just cuts to the scene anyway. <laughs> Didn't even need to pan the camera around. Uh, Link, can you move a little bit forward to the target? Yeah. And he just recalls a memory for, from Daruk. Specifically. I think I'm finally getting the hang of controlling this divine beast. I tell you what, sure is a blast piloting a toy like this around. Let those other champions know. They better eat their gravel if they want to keep up with the roof. Speaking of which, can you believe this view? Just look at all those delectable rocks sprinkled on those mountains. Mighty tasty. I may not know a whole lot about this Calamity Ganon thing, but mark my words, I'll protect this land of ours to the death. Right, little guy? <laughs> oh, <laughs> big ol' slap. Hey, by the way, congrats on becoming the princess's appointed knight. That's a really big deal, protecting the king's daughter. <laughs> no pressure. Seriously, though, the princess is a strong personality. So strong, she can't quite see the range for the peaks. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Huh? What the? I saying that was a little strange as far as I know death mountain has been quiet for decades but if the mountain is shivering enough to send out a bunch of boulders that size then never mind forget I said anything I do like Daruk he's pretty cool and now Link's back is broken, yep. What's gotten into you? Hylians are strange. Anyway, you knew it was actually a descendant of the great Daruk. That's why that slacker could even use Daruk's protection. 
uses it to protect himself when we fire him at Rudania. It's the only way we can chase that blasted beast away. You have no choice because normal cannonballs are no good against him. Alright, that's enough out of me. Time to go drive off Rudania. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, just PG dumb traveler. Of course I'm not okay. Oh, I'm afraid I won't be going anywhere today. Hate to put you on the spot, but can you please go tell Yunobo I'm gonna have to cancel for today? He should be at Elden Bridge. Alrighty. Well, there's Elden Bridge, so... Elden Bridge was falling down, falling down, falling <laughs> down. <laughs> Elden Bridge is falling down due to an eruption. <laughs> 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 I could be doing a bit more of a slightly better w way of pathfinding this, but, you know, Cliff, shortest line between the two points is a straight line, so. Let's roll for initiative. Yeah. Uh, roll for initiative? Are, are there baddies around here I'm not aware of? Yeah, the one coming down the hill. Oh. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, yeah. oh, hey, there's a shrine nearby. How are those birds not cooking? I have no idea. So we should have a... It's right over there, isn't it? Oh, I see it. I see it. It's over there. So what's this shrine all about? Mm. You just make pretty kitty, bro. Pretty kitty. Is there maybe a t uh, fighting or uh, this puzzle? This looks like a puzzle shrine to me. Yep. I am Daka Ko. Name of the off goddess highly I offered this trial. Stalled flight. Yeah, if you, I think you could stasis that. 
Hang on, I'm gonna do something really stupid just because I want to see how how this is gonna work. Okay. This is not going to end well. Oh wait. Oh. Yeah, you might want to. Yeah, just be off of that while when it does. The or you could probably stasis stasis it while it's in the midair and then let it just fall. Also, yep, there's one of the chests there. Do, 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 do. Hey, what's Ooh. down here? Uh, <gasps> oh, wait, that actually doesn't... Wait, no, it's coming oh, out. Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, stasis it didn't kill yeah. you. All it all it did was just get okay. That that's why I wanted to, to check out. Is I just wanted to. Where's Link? A cartoon character? Oh wait a <laughs> minute. I was gonna say oh wait a minute because he was a cartoon character. Yeah. Is electricity supposed to go up that? I don't know. That's that's the thing. Yeah, I think it's stasis and you let that thing, the, yeah, platform, oh. and then you go on that to get to the chest. Okay. When it goes up. Yeah, I just wanted to know if that was going to be like an instant kill. That was, that was why I did what I did. Oh, my name. So that, yeah, that looks like that's the only chest. Wow, this should just be called like a uh, one of them uh, the breeze ones that just just go there. Yeah. I'm gonna test something out. I just uh, hold on a minute. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, that did work. Okay, that's impressive. The mute button on my mic actually mutes on Discord without me actually clicking the Discord icon. Alrighty, now let's go talk to you, Nobo, and... Are you doing a shrine to the... Um... A divine, divine beast tonight? Yeah, well, I suppose we can do that. At least get... At least open the way to a divine beast, if nothing else. Yeah, and then you could start that off for next time. Yeah. Yeah! yeah. Someone, please help me! Oh, fine. We need to go save him. Link to the rescue! If we sneak up along this guy, we should be able to... Okay, fuck it. That's right, you can, like, stealth kill him? Yeah, well, at least get, get, a, get the drop on him. Ah, oh, ooh! Got okay. you with a poking stick! Yeah, he, that he did. Big iron ball stick. Breeze his ass. Oh, there. Oh, is, are these like the brown ones or the black ones? Is that why they're a little strong? Ooh. Uh, you got, you got berries, any berries, right? Then? I got at least three of them, yeah. Okay, so you're good at least. How is he eating through that grate? Good question. <laughs> Frozen ass. Steel is. Ooh, drill shaft. Goron artisans recycled material to forge this weapon. This teal is made from an old excavation board which affords it unmatched piercing capabilities.
Wow, this one's not doing as much damage as that other one was. Wow, you're crazy strong, Goro. You saved me again. These items before they burn up. Mm. Thanks for saving me, brother. I would have been in real trouble if you hadn't shown up when you did. Ah, still no sign of boss, eh? Yeah, he's not coming. Huh? Well, not coming, but why? His back hurts. Mm -hmm. After all we went through all that trouble to get them, the painkillers didn't even end up working. Well, if boss can't help, there's nothing else we could do. I suppose we'll just head back. Ah, oh, wait a second! Hmm. <laughs> You're not going back? But why? I want to board Rudania! Huh? What? You're gonna try to board the Divine Beast? Wait, who do you think you are, Lord Daruk? It's dangerous in there. Hmm. That reminds me of that line from Super Mario RPG. Who do you think you are, Bruce Lee? You'll get creamed! Who do you, who do you think you are, Chuck Norris? I guess if you weakened it first, it might be possible. But why risk it? Because I'm the ancient champion from a hundred years ago. Well, I don't really get it, but I'm sure you got your reasons, Goro. Hmm. Problem is, good old boss raids the bridge of Eldin to make sure that mean divine beast couldn't get over here. In order to get where Rudani is, we'll have to find a way to get the bridge of Eldin back down, Goro. Boss would normally use the cannon to lower it, but we can't cross unless we figure something out. If Boss can't come down here, then he can't use the cannon to lower the bridge. That means we're out of luck. Oh. <laughs> but it occurs to me that you know how to use the cannons, don't you? Maybe we can get across after all. Let's just do what I do to help Boss sometimes. That means I'm going to be the cannonball, and you launch me. Are you sure about that? Oh. I've got Daruk's protection, Goro. My ancestors' help can't possibly fail me. That means I can smash into anything and it won't hurt me one bit. My ancestor was a big deal. That's what Boss says, so it's gotta be true. I can use Daruk's protection just like Daruk himself could. That means there's no need to worry about me. The rest is easy, got it? We'll go on, take aim at the bridge of Elden and fire away. Just, you know, kinda gentle. Go. Oh, nope, nope. You're going the wrong way. There we go. First try. Bonk. Nice. Oh, we did it. See that? If we put our heads together, anything's possible. The power I got from my ancestor, Daruk's protection, really something else, isn't it? Anyhow, I guess my time as a cannibal isn't over just yet. Let's get a move on across that bridge. So now we have an escort mission. Hmm. Divine Beast Rod Rodani is out causing trouble again. Alright, let's get a move on. <laughs> of course, him being Goron it means that he's not like, super fast. We can. Divine Beast Barudania. Oh, he yeah, Yankee. Sends out some flying fuckers to make our day a little bit harder. Those can be destroyed easier than the 
bigger flying Ooh. drones. Yeah. Oh, yikes, that sentry is always a nuisance, no matter where it is or how many of them there are. If one finds you, Radani will go nuts, which will cause Death Mountain to erupt. Ooh. I always get spotted, and magma bombs come raining down one after another. If Boss were here, he'd swat those magma bombs away like they were nothing and force his way up. I don't think he'd be able to do that, and I don't want to cause any trouble. Maybe the best idea for you is to give me a signal let me know when I should stop and when I can move forward. Let's hurry and decide what the signal will be, huh? Got any ideas? MIND POWERS! <laughs> Mind powers, wow, you mean like real life telepathy? I didn't know you Highlands could do that sort of thing. Yeah, we can. <laughs> Are you transmitting? Are you transmitting? Yeah. What the? I'm not receiving over here. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and whistle. Huh? A whistle? That's a great idea. When I hear your whistle, I'll either stop in my tracks or start moving forward. I like it. Mm. You know, it's kind of like calling a horse. I'm counting on you and your whistles to make sure I'm not spotted by those awful sentries. I wonder what, what he would have said if I, I told him that it was a wink. He'd probably be like, I can't see you from that far away. Maybe if you had these glasses. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we need to go up the hill here. All oh, right, he actually pathfinds. Cool. Uh, Use arrows to take him out. There's a rock underneath that passage, so you might be able to get him to stop underneath that when... Yeah. Yep. Normally I would use bomb arrows to try and take this thing out with one blast, but the problem with bomb arrows is that if I... As soon as I take it out to light it, it immediately blows up in my face. Ready. <laughs> Roll, move, 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 move. Ready. Yeah, I never, yeah, I never got to this point. See, falling behind you. Nah, he's, he's keeping up fairly easily. <laughs> uh, question is... I was gonna say, Escort, my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> works that'll be cool uh yeah i'm gonna save here because all oh, right oh yeah cool down no i want to try pushing it oh i yeah, just don't hit it too much that's all I just shove it off. I only hit it once too, and it just didn't even. 
Shove it off nice and gentle. Oh, it put me all the way back down here? Oh, that sucks. That's that lame. Oh, but he's, he's still there, so okay, we can... Oh, is he back to... Oh, okay, that's good at least. That was a single. Yeah, they yeah, could just push it. Like, maybe you just have to, like. Yeah, you it. had to push it, don't. Not use. Oh, it had to go all the way back here. No, fucking hell. He's right there. Like, Yeah, it sent me all the way back here. That's a kick in the dick. They don't want you to cheat. Wait up! Just gonna... Just gonna hang out here. And as soon as that goes... Oh my god, that was close. That could have ended very poorly. Well, actually, you're not out yet, but until you get out up there. Yeah, I know. You almost fell in? I Yeah, yeah. I fell off and I almost took a, took a dunk in the, the lava. Oh. Now, where is your buddy at? He's right over here. He just needs to... Get over here, you dumbass. <laughs> no, tell Rock, me. my one weakness. Say, so you're a Goron. Push him out of the way, dumbass. <laughs> but then, what would you be doing? That's a miss. How about this? Oh. Maybe it's not. There we go. Just had to wait until the cannon was in position. Come on down. Oh no, he moving. Did it! If we can keep this up, we should be able to corner Rudania. Alright. 
Yeah, part of the reason why I don't have to do this specific, uh, specific question to get Redania was because, yeah, like I mentioned before, <laughs> this is the one one dungeon I've never finished, so. It's not. Oh, I didn't even need to drop it. I just had to like just bomb them with the with the box. Put it over there. That's what I'm planning on doing. Ah, no! Aren't you forgetting about someone? Yeah, I'm going back more. I just wanted to make sure this, the way ahead was clear.
this way. <laughs> Got to load the bomb in. Protection that didn't hurt me one bit. My ancestor came through for me. If we keep living, we're gonna get like this. We should be able to get it inside. We should be able to get inside. Don't let up. I believe. I believe. I believe. We have one more gauntlet to go through, and I could be mistaken on that. However, so don't quote me on that. It's over, Mr. Ben. He has the high ground. <laughs> You underestimate his power. Don't try it. Uh, that Mr. Ben loses both uh, both arms and a leg. Or no, both legs and an arm. Sorry, I couldn't resist because think of the layout that they were in in Star Wars. It's kind of like this. Yeah. Good Jack Joy's out here. He probably told me to put a coin in the Star Wars jar. Yeah. Actually, why don't you try throwing a few bombs down there? Yeah. The bombs that did worked. Wow. That worked out a lot better than I anticipated it would. That worked out really good, yeah. I can just smack him around with a metal crate. See if there's one more. Uh, not, not. Oh, there goes your crate. Well, I mean, I have a... Oh, well, you got more. Yeah. <laughs> but that crate was special. That was yeah. my companion cube, you monster. <laughs> Potato, pass it on. Try that again, I dare you. That's your question. Yep. Oh. 
At least he's only throwing rocks at you. Yeah. Ooh, you stink! On this. I know my jokes are corny, but you don't have to throw these at me. <laughs> They're not even doing that much damage, actually. Yeah, sure you want to wear down your guardian shield. I think I knocked him off the edge. Oh, well, there goes his loot. There he goes. Yeah, I had knocked the. I think I knocked the first one off. <laughs> All right, well. He's dead, Jim. Yeah, at least you'll have enough time to at least get this to open. What was it? That was a piece of um, one of the guardian things. The low level one thing I can get. Yeah, low level. I don't need the. There you go, ancient shaft. It's the only one I saw anyway, but. The other pieces got blown off the mountain. There's... There's Unobo. Unobo, or however his name's pronounced. Unobo. Unobo. Yep. Unobo. Come on, Fatso, let's go. Of course, I really shouldn't be calling him. That'd be like hot calling the kettle black here. So. They're all fat, your point. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. I mean, point. No point taken. <laughs> that fireproof lizard just straight up committed suicide rather than let me catch him. <laughs> oh, hey, here's some stuff. I just need econ in the updraft. Chat from your Ori. Hello. Up he goes to the summit of Death Peak. Kill the Wilhelm. Nope. Where is it? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I got it up here, but I didn't. There it is. Yeah. Oh my. That was so cool. Well, I'm down too low when really oh, I missed it. Ah. Uh. It's time to finish the job. This is our big chance. This will be for next week, Ben, right? I suppose. 
I'm kind of surprised yeah. Yonobu didn't jump down with us. Yeah. He's a rock. Yeah. Travel gate registered to map. So yeah, yeah. until we can... Hey, little guy. Long time no see. Hey, it's Daruk. I always knew you'd come back. You know, I never stopped believing in you. You're here to take control of old Radania back from Ganon, eh? You're gonna need a map that shows the guts of this place. You can grab the info from the Guidance Stone over there. Now get a move on! Alrighty. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would watch, but yeah, it's almost one thirty. So, yep, and that's the thing, because now we have the ability to fast travel to the Divine Beast. Nice. Uh, we do have some unfinished business with some of these shrines. We've got at least one, two, three, four, five, six. It wouldn't hurt seven, to get more eight, hearts. Nine, ten, eleven. About 11 of these shrines. Uh, 12 if I didn't count this one. Um, yeah, yeah you could get three more hearts. Technically. Yeah, and I think we'll probably do that next week. Is Since we spent so much time messing around with this, we'll go ahead and we'll just... Uh, but we did get quite a bit done. I mean, we did get the Hylian Shield. We did get at least four of the memories unlocked, I believe. It. Uh, did we get three? I think we got at least... Three. Yeah. A lot of stuff at least done. We got into Gerudo Village. Yep, we did get Gerudo Village. We even got the Gerudo set of armor. Oh, what about that Rito, uh, the shop, oh, general shop owner? Yeah, we haven't gotten him yet. Uh, we'll have to... I mean, we could probably... Does he appear before or after you quell the Divine Beast? I think he's Honestly. there before I think he's there before at least uh, we got like what three of the spirit orbs let's go ahead and get this one taken care of then we'll head over to Rito village All take right. care of him and uh, get at least one more heart in which one and, is the shrine called uh, this was the Tom Bull uh, Tom Buell passing the flame and I believe this is oh is this going to be one where I'm going to have to either use fire arrows, or can I cheese this with... I just see what it shows. This was just something I needed to use, like a, either a fire arrow or a torch to get yeah, those. Yeah, to like burn. So yeah, to burn those. Is there any of these I can? Use? Okay, that's just part of that. Yeah, there should be a chest. Uh, yeah, there's behind the, the burning bush there. Oh, uh, well, you just passed. Oh. No, there's uh no, it's behind those boxes. There's a chest behind the boxes. Oh. Probably. Oh. I was gonna say maybe explode them. Oh. Well, that was a noble, so. Uh. Yes, that, uh, ben, that. Yeah, see that the bushes that you can burn behind you? Yeah. Yeah, that you if you burn that there's a treasure chest. Oh. No, uh it's the Yeah. yeah I know gotta... it's... No, it's not over there, it's the it's to your right. Oh. 
That was a push. There's a chest. Oh, maybe. Go back. I think I know what he's talking about. Go back. What? To your right. Not up there. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I got it wrong. Yeah. That one on the ground. Wherever. Where's the guy that you're. Okay, I thought it was up there. It, it, it was there. See, this is the. Okay, yeah, it's in that room. You gotta go, uh, go to your right. Nope, oh, uh, behind you now. Oh, now you gotta. Yeah, you gotta have the camera move to your uh, right. Yeah, see the box right there? That's where it is. I made a, I made a boo boo. Yeah, see that? That's the bush you have to burn. Oh, I see it. Oh, why I, why I didn't I think of that? Ooh, stone Smasher. Durability up, hell yeah. There is a talk up. Now you know the one of the attack up is closer to being broken. Oh wait, but before you go to the, yeah, before you go to him, there should be a, a bush you can burn that that's by a locked door. I, uh, I burned this one on this side here. Oh, then use your magnetic to grab the small key. Oh. If you lift it up, I think you gotta lift it up. There you go. And there's a treasure chest behind that door. A ruby! Nice. And that is all the chis. Yeah, sorry about the first one earlier. I thought you were on the right one there. That's fine. And that should be Spirit Ward number four for the night. Yep. Hell yeah. One. Do, 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 do. I know you wouldn't want to pass up a ruby because they could be worth a lot. Oh, yeah. Worth more than Ruby Rose. Hey, oh. <laughs> In all seriousness, I'm sad, I'm sad that you know, what, I, uh, what uh, how Rooster Teeth are doing these days, but it's partly. Well, I don't want to say any more on this subject. Yeah, I don't really follow that group, so I really wouldn't know one way or the other on that. I used to, like, uh, I, I used to partly and due to my friends bringing my attention to the series. Apparently I have uh, 72 shrines completely unlocked. 72? Damn, I'm about... What? When the stream's done, uh, yeah, I wanna, yeah, I just wanted to, like, what are you talking, what group are you talking about? It can wait till after the stream's done. Yeah. It's a Molly. So, yeah, you're looking for Rice, Reeson? Hi! That's Layson. Man, what Lace, are you doing here? Uh, your adventures are crazy, you're right. <laughs> I was talking about you, you know. You seen the divine beast bomb meadow flying around out there? The village is this right, thanks to that uh... thing. 
I'd probably train soldier. I'd go straight in the beast and bring it out. You do no such thing, woman. Everyone keeps saying that they do this and do that. And thinking that they're all badass when they really aren't. <laughs> ah. I don't know. Italy. I don't know. Ah. It's not you. Yeah, he's got, he looks like, I think he's a bluebird. He's got, like, those giant hands. Are you sure you're not talking about crass? Crass? No, it says, uh... What is it? There isn't anything else up further here, I don't think, is there? All right, Bison is a real and to be found in Rito Village, sitting on the empty balcony to the right of the village entrance. To the right of the village entrance, so I need to go down. There he is. Oh. Hey, hey evening. Man. Yep. I'll let you read him if you want. Hey. So have you seen it? The Divine Beast from Meta? I saw it. Everyone in the village is freaking out because of it. But I have bigger problems. My ni my mom is so annoying. She asks me to help out the store every single day. I can't take it anymore. I don't want to just help. I want to open my own store and sell whatever I want. Aww. But I don't want to compete with Mom. I wish there was a place I could set up my own shop. You ever heard of Terrytown? Hmm? Terrytown? Tell me more. Oh, well, see, there's this plate uh, on Akala. On Akala. Hmm. Oh, so they're in need of a general store. That's perfect. But the Akala region, that's pretty far out there. But I guess I've got to leave the nest someday and have, and to have my own store. Okay, I made up my mind. I'm going. But with Meadow terrorizing the skies, I'm going to have to fly low. Uh. Thanks for the tips. And hey, don't be a stranger. Come visit me at my new hometown. My new home sometime. Right. I'm curious what he would have said if you did, like, beat the divine. Probably said nothing else. Yeah, probably not. Alrighty. Uh, take a quick pop over. Oh, man, no wonder it's far away. It's, it's literally on the other side of the region. Yeah, so both him and and Ronson had to, like, yeah, travel from one side to the other. Yeah. The other had flight, the other had ki their feet killing them. Yeah. yeah, Rito, yeah, at least he was able to fly on, like, uh, yeah, the Gerudo. Just gonna quick pop on over it. I don't think, uh, I don't know if Hudson will need anything else. He probably will need, like, some extra some wood probably, I don't know. I don't think he'll need anything else. I'm hoping not anyway. But if he does, then hey, you know, just one less thing I could do off screen. Ooh. Hey, hey. You managed to find a Rito and bring him back here. Yeah, you know, we might need to bring a Zora back here at one point. <laughs> he wasted no time getting a general store up and running. Apparently his family one runs one too. And with a name like Fison, he'll fit right in. He's selling things he's picked up while flying around. You really should go check out the store. Mm. Next is... What we can call more people here. We need even more homes. 50 bundles of wood. Holy hell. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm going to be doing that off screen. So, yeah. But he's got the general store. So, where is 
that at? That is not here, but um... yeah, I think it's, that's where it is. Yeah. Well, there's the. Yeah, that's where. That's Ronson's shop. That's the horse shop for little Goron. There he is. Oh. He sells gears, arrows, 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 and arrows. <laughs> and more arrows. He doesn't have the shield, apparently. I guess that's. I guess we need to get him his house first. Oh, hey, what can I get you? Hey. Hey, it's been a while. It's been five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Remember me, Fison? Yeah. <laughs> After I left Rito Village, some bandits tried to mug me. Lucky for me, they didn't have wings. Terrytown is really great. Nice weather, no moms to annoy me. <laughs> it's really great being able to run my own shop and sell the things I want to sell. Anyway, I'm open for business, so shop to your heart's content. Hell yeah. You know what? I, I, I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to get some fire arrows. Uh, How many? At least one. <laughs> Just for one? Yeah, 140. Actually, hang on. I get... I think I always... I think I always sell stuff to get some That'll, yeah, that'll give me up to around 60 for just about everything. The only thing I'm missing is the bomb arrows, and bomb arrows are there. Yeah, they're going to be... Yeah, they'll, they'll be... I'll have to sell some stuff and get some of that. Ancient yeah. arrows are going to be... I got like 14 of these. These are going to be... I think... Uh, don't the Blight Ganons... Don't they have like a significant weakness to these things? Ooh, I don't remember. Do you know, Jay? I don't I remember think. at all because I never used them against them. I got like a little other man. So, yeah, these are all just people hanging out around here. Oh. Let's go ahead and talk to the statue and get another heart container at least. Oh, if he was on any type of a DOS, the arrow will deal 50 damage in, ad in addition to the attack power of the bow you use. If you use while wearing the double star upgrade, Ancient said we'll deal a bonus plus 80 damage. Hell yeah. So I'll have to bully some more of those Guardians and see about upgrading the Ancient set a bit more. Do, 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 do. And now we started on the second line of health. So... Yeah, because apparently the, the most amount of hearts you can have in this game is is like 30. And this includes the uh, the temporary hearts. Food oh, hearts. Wow. Yeah. So, like, if I were to go ahead and eat this... Oh, I don't have it anymore. I must have ate it already. But, um... I'll just go ahead and cook it up real fast. Oh, I don't want to eat this. I want to... Butterfingers here. <laughs> yeah, 12 hearts. So, like, the 12 won't get me fully up there, but the plus 16 will only give me, like, an additional 2. So, instead of getting plus 16, I'm only getting a plus 14. So, oh, okay. so this, in a way, kind of helps me out a little bit in regards to resource gathering because instead of having to buy or not buy but get five hardy deranges to get the full plus 20 i could just cook up three of them and get a plus 12 and it's so long as i have um uh, like two extra main hearts in addition to what i've got i could just go ahead and use the plus 12 and get me a full set of 30 and save up on uh some resources i could use to cook up even more of these so oh nice 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sort these out. And in fact, um, since I'm in the neighborhood, I want I want to buy these. I want to sell things at them. What is selling? Since I have the Flamebreaker armor, uh. I have no need for these fireproof elixirs. <laughs> and since I've got the Gerudo armor, I have no need for the heat resistant stuff either. <laughs> so I can just go ahead. What if you need a stronger eye uh, climate? Oh, well, uh, that is possible. I mean, if I'm using armor that's, um... <laughs> Wait, I forgot, Ben. Don't you need... When you do the Goron Shrine, do you have... Do you get to use your armor, or do they make you go, like, in your boxes only? God, that's a good question. I don't actually remember. Well... Best one. You know with the Gorons, where he has to stand on the fire for so long? I think, I think, or or you can't use flint any flame equipment, but you can cheat. But but I think you can cheat. You use flint, flame resistant food. You just can't wear or flame flame resistant equipment. Does this include the fireproof elixirs? Oh well. Uh no. I don't know, you can use the fireproof elixirs, you just can't wear er, 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 the fire armor. Oh, well, So darn. far, it's almost so much for not needing them. Well, I guess I will, well, I can always buy some more, I know exactly where, or I can make some. Are, I was gonna say, can you check your, where your autosave put you? Maybe, uh, maybe. yeah, actually. Uh, right here. There you go, that way you can hold on to your fireproof. Alright. Because, yeah, I was just, like, thinking, oh, yeah, that's right. You need fire resistance, I think, for that, because I think they make you take your armor off. I mean, Ooh, yeah, this, you uh... keep the ball until afterwards. Yeah, and I, I, I still got the hardy terrains. I can go ahead and just cook that back up. That won't be a problem. I'll just go ahead and save over that. And we'll just go ahead and uh, call it a stream here, I think. Alrighty, so. Alrighty. Well, thank you all once again for coming out to the stream. Appreciate you swinging on by, stopping off, watching, uh, laughing at Mr. Ben as he makes a fool of himself once again. <laughs> and uh, next week, when we pick up on on Breath of the Wild, well, I'm just going to swap back to the stream layout. We're going to go ahead. We're going to take care of at least a few more of these shrines probably uh, knock out a couple of these uh, <coughs> these memory, memory places. Yeah, at least because we've got like four of these listed here still. We can go ahead and get those out of the way. Um, and um, take on the Divine Beast Vibradania. At least get one of those off our back. And considering yeah. that we've been going on for what? This is like the fifth week now we've been playing this and we still haven't even gotten the damn Divine Beast taken care of? <laughs> that's Brett, well, that's Brett of the Wild for you. Is, wait, I, isn't this the fourth or the... Oh, it might have been the fourth. Yeah. I mean, it's not, like, I get us playing Xenoblade. I think I'll keep... Uh, uh, damn, I'm not gonna do the main story. I got an Agilian side quest before I advance. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing so many side quests. I think I have enough for the uh, Turkin Alliance. In yeah, I've been doing them as well. Now. I'm actually on an important side quest, so I'm going to probably do it. I finally collected all the items, so I don't have to fight them. But yeah, that was the whole reason I was I wanted to get some of the stuff taken care of because, like I said, if if I had just gone in with the uh, if if I hadn't off screen a lot of this stuff, we would probably be extending the playthrough of this uh, stream play at least another. I don't know. Uh, I 
I don't have that that profile linked to a Nintendo account, so I can't exactly check how much playtime I've already sent in on that. Oh. But uh, I can honestly tell. I spent around six months on my Wii U playing that game. Let's say I know we've done at least five hours per week. Six that's... months without any other game, just the Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I still gotta get through Minish Cap and then the other Zelda games. Yeah, assuming that this is the fourth week, then we've we've played at least twenty hours on stream, and then off stream, I've I've done at least two or three hours a almost a day, uh, not really a day, but at least two or three hours Monday, Tuesday. Thursday and Friday, all with a few hours on Saturday, I want to say. So I'm going to assume 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Anywhere from 12 to 15 during the week, just off screening that nonsense. Uh, so I'm. 21 I'm, hours. So yeah, so. so Not 21 tw hours, it's a 15 times 4. Yeah. No, it's four to yeah, four I'll... times four is sixteen. Uh, Thirty-one hours. Yeah, fifteen times four is sixty, from what I see here. So that's fifteen times four is sixty. And Plus then... uh, sixteen or fifteen. Yeah. So I'm like going... that's slightly mixed up. I'm going to assume that we've been going for about at least the full time, about seventy to eighty hours just invested in on this. So, oh, wow. and, and well, that, I just over eighty hours in Xenoblade Chronicles Three. <laughs> but yeah, that that's just how much. That's just what I'm guesstimating. So, because uh, yeah. like I said, I haven't actually been tracking how much how much time I've been putting in on the on the game off screen. But I do know that if it, even if five hours a week, just once a week. Uh, we'd be extending this far more out, you know, just, just getting the, you know, unlocking the shrines and stuff. That's why I said that if I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to be doing this for the sake of expediency. <laughs> yeah. So, because I, I want to get this, I mean, I love Breath of the Wild, don't get me wrong, I love this game, it's probably one of my favorite Zelda games of all time, but uh, with Breath of the Wild 2 basically hot on the heels of everything at the beginning of 2023, well, not really at the beginning, but early 2023, we still don't know the exact release date for that for that game, and I want to make sure that I want to get Breath of the Wild done and put to bed before that comes out. So, now, um, did you say that the second wave of Blade was uh, early next year or late this year? Uh, it was like early next year. It was like, like oh. first or at, at least first, maybe second quarter set 2023. I don't Cause know depending on when that comes out, I might be playing that instead of Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Actually, from what I looked up, it says now expected to release in spring 2023. Okay. So that's at least second quarter. Yeah. Uh, so we're talking about maybe probably March or April. All right. Well, uh, Nintendo, why re oops, why are you sorry. releasing Breath of the Wild 2 so close to the second DLC of Xenoblade? Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. You just you're first so matted up in spots. I need to cut some of this out. But I don't want to hurt you. Sweetie, You're precious. I just I don't want to hurt you. Yeah, cutting the mats out of those kind of those breed of cats is really it's dangerous. Very yeah. Oh, well, time to get the razor. <laughs> no. <laughs> so close to fall, you monster. Yeah. Yeah, at this point in the game, yeah. Yeah, especially since we're, it's going to be wintertime pretty soon, and she's going to want to need this uh, this heavy coat to keep herself warm. You know what? I don't mind having winter right now. It's been so hot this year. I hate it. Yeah. Try experiencing winter where I am. <laughs> If if last year's winter is any indication, I'm not looking forward to this year's either. I'm just uh, I just don't want to have to go in and freaking feel the way, I ice in the snow. The cold. I didn't have a bad winter last year. That's good. Let's say yippee for you. 
Yeah, I know. Uh, last... I'll, I'll probably will this year, though. Yeah, I know last year was fun. There was at least a couple of times where I was, like, debating whether or not I wanted to try risking getting home and then thinking I'm going to have to call my neighbor and tell him to go over the house and feed the cat because I'm not going to be able to get over there. <laughs> Oof, yeah. But I'm... I was thinking of going physical for Pokemon, but I might get digital if the weather is bad. I'm going to try and get... Well, I'm going to try and get physical because I'm going to have it uh, mailed here to the house. So... Yeah, I'll... I'll try to do physical. I was going to do digital because I thought maybe you guys were going to do that as well, but yeah. I'll go with physical then. Um, I know. For I still haven't that... decided, but it's more convenient so I don't have to walk in the snow if I get any one when it releases. Yeah, yeah I hear you. With the multiplayer, I want to make sure I'm like caught up with you guys so so we're not like behind anyone. Yeah. Because I'm curious what they're going to do for multiplayer. Yeah, I yeah, do. That yeah, would be the same, but... By the rate, uh, how the rate I'm you to play Chronicles three, I might not be done yeah. until November. That's why I want to. That's why I want to try to get Splatoon and Pokemon on a lot, so I'm not behind in you guys. Yeah, yeah. That, that's. I can afford. One... I can afford to wait on rabbits, like you say, JD, because it's not like a heavy multiplayer game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's that's pretty much single player. And that's one of the reasons why I'm actually looking forward to my uh, my two week vacation here because uh, the two week vacation is going to provide provide me a lot more time to be able to stream during the evening, uh, so we can go ahead and focus more on this game, get this out of the way, uh, and then I could also cover some other games that I've been wanting to play on stream, such as Live Alive. Huh. Oh yeah, that's her. Oh yeah, I've heard about that game. Yeah, thanks for switching to Violet with me, Ben, because that will help with the exclusive Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not a problem. I mean, like I said, I was originally planning on doing Scarlet, but, uh, you know, and that, I had my personal reasons for Scarlet, but then, you know, hey, I have no problem doing Violet. We're getting the yeah, cooler right anyway, so. Why <laughs> for? Why for? Yeah. It's kind of interesting, because, like, me and JE had Brilliant Diamond while you and Ben, while you and DM had uh, Pearl. Yeah. Technically, I had both, but uh, apparently, have both, for both versions is no longer uh, viable for me. Yeah. Well, so, but, well, considering you know, yeah, but with the switch, it's easier. It's easier to trade with everybody now. So. Yeah. That and their games are not as. Uh, how should I say this? Sword and Shield disappointed me, and uh, Br Brilliant Diamond, Shine Pearl. I was hoping for the remakes to be more like uh, Platinum, but we ended up getting uh, more Diamond and Pearl. I mean, that kind of doesn't surprise me, considering that they specifically said that they were Diamond and Pearl remakes, not necessarily Platinum. Yeah, but, so. uh, but the thing is, I... Thought they would at least maybe uh, put in some platinum elements because it was platinum yeah. was like an upgrade to the game, base game of Pearl and Diamond. I will say yeah. though, I, th I thought Ar when it, I thought it was cool is that it's kind of connected to Arc, a Legend of Arceus. Yeah, a little. I I kind of agree with you on that. I mean, I kind of wish they had a little bit more interconnectivity, but yeah, um, the trading is is. <laughs> kind of funny, remember Ben? Yeah, I, I love how the the Pokeball just rockets off into the mid. <laughs> yeah, I did. I never traded in an uh, Ar in Legends Arceus, yeah. and I didn't need to because I you could catch every Pokemon at your own disposal. Yeah, I had like a shiny, uh, one of them shiny cat Pokemon, so I gave it to Mister Ben. It was female, yep. so I thought I'd eh, give it. I'll name it Cin uh, Cinder. Yeah. Ooh, Which was he's currently licking my hand right now. <laughs> it wasn't the Meowth one because they didn't have it. It was Pearl Ugly. That. Yeah, no, it was a uh, Pearl. Well, not Pearl Lane. Um, it was Glam Meow. Glam Meow. Yep. That was it. Yep. I almost thought Pearl Lane because Pearl Lane and Glam Meow do look very similar. Just one's on hind legs and the other isn't. <laughs> so yeah, because I had the shiny. Pearl Lane's more like a leopard or cheetah. Uh, yeah. Pearl Ugly's more like a fat cat. Yeah. Yeah, I had the shiny uh, amulet, so that's why I, I saw one. I was like, oh, nice. I do hope we yeah, get more uh, Legends games, though. Like a Legends Johto or a Legends, um, Legends Unova. That would be nice. 
Yeah. I'm just surprised that we got a new Pokemon game already. I don't know. Uh, America's a pretty young country in comparison to the other countries. Well, you're not wrong on that, so... <laughs> Unova Legends will just be like, oh, the 1800s. <laughs> <laughs> you're still streaming, Ben, right? Yes, I am. Uh, okay, I'll wait until we... after you're done. No, it's fine. I'm just good. we might as well just go ahead and wrap up as it is, like I said. Uh, so next week we we're just gonna go ahead and do exactly what I detail. We're just gonna get some of the shrines, get Revada Darnia hopefully taken care of. Uh, actually, no, scratch that. We're gonna get, we're we will get Revada Darnia done. We'll we'll at least get a few of the shrines taken care of, but Revada Darnia will uh be knocked out come hell or high water. So, um, right. so we'll go ahead and we'll focus on that and uh focus on the uh, next plan from there so until then this has been mr ben along with uh, little cinder over here this has been jay smith this has been radio dog dm21 wishing you all a wonderful and a happy safe week we'll see you all next sunday take care everyone yep. and stay cool hopefully mm-hmm. it's nice weather where you are indeed see ya see ya everybody <laughs> <laughs>